The year is 2004. The day is November 25th, Thanksgiving Day. Your host, Brandon Ryan. Let's pot a parade! Well, 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 hello everybody, and welcome to another episode of Let's Pot a Parade. It's your boy, Bran, here with my boy, Ryan. Ryan, happy Thanksgiving, Merry Christmas, all the pleasantries. I love a November 25th Thanksgiving, don't that you? That feels special, doesn't it? Right, when that symmetry lines up, isn't that just a, it, doesn't that just get you it, the, the bread basket? It, it, it does get me in the bread basket, and that bread basket is full of, of Christmas lights and whatnot. It's a big bread. No bread, huh? No, 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 no. <laughs> there is bread in it. What I'm trying to say is that underneath the bread are some lights it's illuminating. Seems dangerous. <sighs> But yeah, no, I love, uh, I, I, love a, um, I love a November 25th Thanksgiving because that means we're lighting the Rockefeller tree also on NBC before December 1st this year, this this year that we're in 2024. Late. Oh, I, 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 dis, I love Thanksgiving, but of I hate course. a late Thanksgiving. Yeah, we got a, uh, what is it, the 28th or something? It's like crazy the 28th like that? or something. 28th? We're gonna be, wow. We're, not, we're, gonna be light in the, we're gonna be lighting the tree like December 3rd or 4th. That, yes. It's 28th and then 29th, 30th. Yeah, we'll like the December. tree on December 4th because they always do it on a Wednesday. That's crazy. Yeah, like that feels criminal. Actually. That means it's the, the tree's only lit for four weeks. I don't like it. Uh, maybe they should change it. Do it on a Monday this year. I think, I think maybe, what if they do it, what if they do it before Thanksgiving? Are you against that? That I'd be against, wouldn't you? Oh. <laughs> No. <laughs> what if they did it on the night of Thanksgiving? Which just with that, the city would never do that because then, like you know, they wouldn't get a crowd. Uh, they wouldn't dare. Yeah. They wouldn't dare morning. do it. We're doing the Whoa. 2000. Uh, I know. Look at that. We're doing the 2004 Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade today, which is uh, the reason we're doing it, Ryan. Is we've done 94, we've yes. done 2014, and it felt right to do the one that is in smack dab in the middle of those things uh, by doing 2014 and uh, doing 2004 and seeing how things had kind of evolved. Now that we've got that 20 year window, what it, what was it like right smack dab in the middle? And so I, I'm excited about that. We'd love to say we planned it that way, that this was a very well thought out concept, but uh, it just kind of happened accidentally uh, and we feel good about it. I will say off rip, this is far more of a, and maybe the quality has something to do with this, but it has far more of a retro feel than I thought a 2004 parade would have. Well, the, From that NBC opening and just kind of, it feels very stylized to how they did it in 94. Yeah, I, 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 it, yeah, it definitely feels more like 94 so far than it did, look at all that, than it did 2014. Part of that, if you remember last, last uh, episode, Rai, they started with that musical number. And I kind of like the way that this started with the ba 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 da 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 da. It feels feels better. Like let's let's just kind of segue into it. Uh, Katie Couric immediately with a, a, a global warming joke. <laughs> so it's the times times we're living in, everybody. That's what you want on Thanksgiving morning. Katie Couric, Matt Lauer, Al Roker. Now, this is exciting because last time it was um, Matt and um, what's her name? Was it Meredith? Meredith, I believe. Yeah. And this is, I think, our first uh, Matt-Katie combo because we had Katie back in 94. So, yeah, I, you know, I probably go to Katie first when I think of uh, the, the female host of these things. Oh, hold on. I think Al's coming up here. Well, they gave Al a drum line. I mean, you got to. Oh, wow. The Music City Mystique. I'll tell you this. I like this a lot off rip. Yeah. Brand, right. I might have forgotten my scoring uh, gimmick. Look at this. I'll grab it in a second. Oh. No, what? You better change that. Oh, now this is the Al Roker I remember. Excitement, acceleration, and it all comes down to one thing. We can all agree. Bigger Al Roker is better Al Roker, right? I mean, I don't want to say one way or the other, but you remember him more fondly, right? I mean, it's the Al Roker of our youth. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Obviously, super happy that he's like healthy and doing well. Now, this is the Macy's guy I remember. Okay. Yeah. 
Happy Thanksgiving. This guy, uh, I think some years he wears a hat. We were talking about the amazing I, this is the Macy's us. guy I always think of. 4,000 people from our Macy's family marching with us today. Chris, 4, Chris Meyer? Bands and large groups. If you're having trouble with this map, yeah, we should have these kids behind us help with Is that Ronald? Right? No, that's no, just a regular clown. Never mind. Public school systems, they've boosted their math scores this year by 40%. The biggest increase in the system. Unbelievable. Congratulations. Unbelievable. Now, this guy was just a, an HR guy at Macy's, if my Google is correct. Whoa, look at these small scissors. That's sad. How do you think he rose to parade on, ribbon cutter? Yeah. Hey, Brent, happy Thanksgiving. Oh, I apologize. This guy's name is Robin Hall. I saw two names, and I assumed Robin was the woman. And that, listen, and that's on me. That's on you. Yeah, Robin was there from uh, 84 to 94, and then again, 01 to 13. So he was the senior vice president of Macy's Parade and Entertainment Group. So I think we'll gig. see him. I think we'll see him multiple times, and I can't wait to get him on the pod. It's beginning to existence. Yeah. Jimmy Schmidt. Oh, wow, Bocelli, huh? We'll see. Oh, that's American Fantasia's idol, idol year. How about that's that? That's her idol year if I'm, yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, it would have been the third season, yeah. Now, the um, the poster for this year's uh, parade, uh, we got a big SpongeBob balloon, so maybe it's going to be the debut of SpongeBob. We got a chicken, a chicken Little balloon. Oh, wow, that seems like a moment in time. Right, very specific. Yeah, and uh, it looks like just gay. Looking at the list real quick. Oh, bare naked ladies on today, Bran. Oh, nice. That's exciting. <laughs> yeah, the only other first timer balloon that we have to look forward to is, I believe, the M and M's. Wow, who would have thought that that would be the first time for them? This possible. is as 2004 a lineup as you can get, by the way. Sorry, Brian. But, well, it's possible that Eminem's the it's, it's just the first time for this specific balloon. Maybe they've been represented before. And I, I, I'll get to that once the... I don't want to spoil... I don't want to get ahead of things here. I'll, I'll wait to dive into that history once the balloon is on on my television screen. Yellow and red Eminem, by the way. A special tribute to the Statue of Liberty. You have to. holiday superstar. Ah, uh, Santa. <laughs> well, the uh, parade's getting underway. That intro felt good. I gotta, I gotta be honest with you. It felt real good. That intro. Sure. Yeah, no. I, mean, I would say so far. I mean, what? We're, we're just a mere few minutes in, but everything feels uh, crisp, lean, sharp. Sharp is a great word for it. All right, we gotta get through these. All right, so we gotta get. Oh, we're getting right to this thing. This Mike is us, Miller. right? These are our jackets, right? <laughs> oh. Wow, that's a sea of color. So this is, like, I feel like this is the group that typically, like, you know, they've done the the loud construction dance, and then last time they did the whatchamacallit dance. I feel like it's normally towards the end of the parade, so it's interesting that we're kicking off with... Uh, yeah, I mean, I feel like no matter what in the two we've done so far of the Macy's ilk, uh, I mean, we had that. The the dance number last week was Broadway, just it kind of wasn't on the usual stage. This is a departure. The Broadway this, this is, is typically kicked it off. Yeah. What a tune. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is so fascinating that a non-Broadway is kicking things off. It doesn't feel right, if I'm being honest with you. I, it's good. Listen, it's good. I mean, you like I, variety. I'm giving it a seven right now. I'm going to go a six. And I think part of that is just, the yeah, as you mentioned, it's just, if this was later in the show, could have been, look, they got a lot of stuff going. They got boxes. Listen, they, they got th they scarves. Thought this, they got boxes. And, uh, they thought this through. <laughs> whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Spin it, spin it. Oh. Listen, man, nothing nothing pops off the screen like the Mike Miller dance team in, 
240p. Am I right? Mike Miller of the Orlando Magic at this time, I, right? I, I, mean, I got four. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, listen, these kids are trying their best. They sure uh, are. The, the choreo is simple, you would agree, right? Like it's. Oh, I don't agree with that at all, actually, Ryan. Did you really? see they were in a circle? There's, again, <laughs> not to keep bringing up the box, but there were boxes, and that takes some uh, moving around, some movement. They're all doing the same thing with their scarves. This is wild. This, I this think, is a cool visual. I think, Ryan, if this was not in 240p, if this was a little bit crisper, say 480, you, you'd be, I think, a little bit higher. Don't let the quality of the parade dictates your enjoyment of Mike Miller's dance team. Don't let the 240Ps yes. difference there impact me from a 6 to a 7. All right, I'll go 7. All right, go. Go seven. boom. Go seven. Seven. 7. I thought it was really good. Fisher Price, yeah. shout out. Whenever I uh, skedaddle to tinkle at some point, I'll go grab my uh, my scoring card. The uh, Listen, we, you can't mess with uh, perfection in every episode. You have to tinkle. And there's nothing that we can do about that. I don't want to tinkle last week. I don't know. Well, you know, I, I, the, the, the wiki is actually going to start tracking my bathroom breaks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you. Uh, shout out to the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade uh, fan wiki. Yeah. Uh, if you guys could start uh, tracking that, that'd be wonderful. Not just if I go, but like when during each episode. Yes, of course. Of course. Because when we rewatch these, that's going to be intel that we need. It's not raining, a magnificent aerial view of Manhattan. It is magnificent. Sensation. Yeah, that's going to be interesting, Brent. I hadn't really thought of this. There must be years where it has rained. Of course. I, I, well, we, I, we, had, we had the year of snow, but snow, to me, is a different element. Well, yeah, uh, Matt, Matt's out there um, trying to push a, the rain propaganda back in 2014. It was definitely snowing. He said it was raining. It was definitely Definitely snowing, and he was just wrong about that. Who's this guy? Jimmy Smith. Uh, uh, you'd know him from In the Heights. Okay. Yes. 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 Thank you. Now, you've been to the parade before. You ever take the train down here? Yeah. Hey, you ever take the train down, Jim? <laughs> really put Jimbo in a tough spot there. Hey, you ever uh, been a normal person and taken the train, or have you always been an uppity up elite? Hey, Jimmy. What do you think about public transit, especially around Thanksgiving Day? Yeah, you like it? Yeah. You, you, I could never do that side look that you have to do when you're pointing the thing. It is a tough kid? gig, weatherman. <laughs> with mom and the family, my daughter, my son, my grandkid. Well, happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. And all the best in the West. Boy, West. that couldn't have been a more mundane <laughs> conversation. <laughs> All right, I'm going to give you grief about being rich and not having to take public transpo, and then you give me some stuff about weather, and then we'll send you on your way. Happy Thanksgiving. Are they in a different location, Bran, the hosts? I feel like this is not typically where they – or maybe is the angle slightly different? I think it's a different angle. It's a different angle. I think that red awning uh, to the left of Katie there I think is uh, – is Macy's itself. Uh, usually, yeah, they're usually a little more focused yes. and centered up on that. That's right, Ryan. Oh, what's uh, this? Oh, man, your dad's so out right now. <laughs> My dad's pissed. CBS! Turn on CBS! <laughs> what is this? This is pleasant so far. Is it? <laughs> is it? She's kind of got an Anne Hathaway vibe let's going, get, right? Let's the, listen. The the order here is is just out of out of whack. You can't you know, high start, energy to real low energy. Well, yes, yeah. that's exactly right. You can't start with a dance crew first of all, and then the first Broadway be this. Uh oh, is about uh, to pick up. Ooh. Okay. Oh, oh well, yeah. Well, okay. Well, okay. Oh, I'm, guys, I'm sorry. I'm man enough to admit when I'm wrong. But maybe we didn't need that little intro part. I don't know. It's nice. Whoa, oh, look at this guy. Woo! Woo! Brand. How about that? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. This is from oh, this a, a nice voice. A play called All Shook Up, which I've never heard of. And again, that doesn't mean anything. That doesn't mean it's good or bad. It just means. I didn't know about it. Again, guys, my dad hated this. So do we, do we uh do we have how I don't mean to put you on the spot, do we know how long that ran? I'm gonna tell you right now, thank you so much for asking. You're welcome, uh, All man. Shook Up's a two thousand four American jukebox musical from the Elvis Presley songbook. Right. And uh, it ran, it premiered on Broadway in two thousand five. And uh, did it, did it. So this is a preview. 
did a U.S. tour in 2006. It's it's been around for a while. It's been around for a while, in fact. Yeah. Yeah, and with in Broadway, it ran from March of '05 to September of '05, um, and I don't know if that I don't know if that's good. Like I don't know if that's. I mean, normal. it's a short run, but hey, yeah. you, you made it to the dance quite literally. Um, <laughs> listen, I, these things don't matter. I feel like as much in Broadway, but if the the guy in the Sean Hunter jacket is supposed yeah. to be Elvis, shouldn't he probably have had like not blonde hair? Oh, I don't. I listen. I don't know. I don't claim to know the story here. I don't, don't believe. I don't believe it's an it's a story of Elvis musical We're as d- much as it is using the songs of Elvis to to tell a story. Right. This is nice though. I, I I like it. Yeah. Especially I, I, you were you were out there for a second. I'm gonna I, surprise you. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go seven. I'm going six, so we swapped. Oh, wow. We swapped our first two uh, things. Crossed each here. other in the hallway but, there. Yeah. Listen, at the end of the day, I, I, the the starting off with the Mike Miller dance team could could be a, an absolute detriment to this. Maybe that. Threat. Maybe it was a one and done. Maybe, maybe 2004. They realized, you know what? We just we can't put the energy yeah, at I a see. nine. And then go to Al Roker asking people about their thoughts on trains. That's right. I'm still not fully. Oh, uh, I, I don't fully know what to think of Mike Miller's dance crew. Call me crazy. I just uh, maybe I'm overthinking. I will not. Okay, I will you. not do that. Oh, well, Brooke Shields is singing. Really? Is that what they said? Hey, crazy to think that just 20 years after this, you'd review her on Netflix with Miranda Cosgrove. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that, do you ever think about life oh, in that context? Oh, the well. dawn. How about that? Guys, it was the time. It was a time. Don, Don, Don Trump over there just firing people and whatnot. That show oh, wow. This is an interesting, uh, this is a, a sweeping shot. We haven't had this yet. Let's look. Did you see that uh, someone like threw confetti from mm-hmm. ba- behind? That was weird, right? Yeah. Look at it. Oh. The pacing of this parade is weird. You would admit that, right? It almost feels like um, like news coverage. Oh, she's not singing. Is this Brooke Shields? No. It's Nikki Cox from Las Vegas. What does she do? I don't know, but she's from Vegas. Was Vegas a show? Probably. But I'm going to, I'm going to go with the theory that they got someone from Vegas and said, you want to experience, Did you take the train in from Vegas? Do you want to experience uh, New York for the first time? Come on out. I'm so happy to be here. I assume you would not lie to Well, I never lie to you, Mr. Roker. I never lie to you, Mr. Roker. She called him Mr. Roker. That was cute. Come on over. My mom and You come over to the Roker household. You just did. Man, have you ever thought about that? What the Roker household must be like on Thanksgiving night? The sense of satisfaction from a parade well done. You know, you know, you don't think about it often, but these folks are real people and they have lives, and hopefully, Lord. Lord willing, God forbid, they uh, they go home after parade and hopefully have a Thanksgiving dinner with their family just like as uh, just like we do. Hopefully they this do. Is, this is the better gig than say if you are working the football games during the day because that you 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 just don't have a Thanksgiving at that That's point. That's your shot. It's shot. Yeah. This at least you're, you're done by twelve. If you live in the city, you're home by two, and you you got a solid nine hours of Thanksgiving. Yeah, I don't know how um like you know how long do they got to stay? Do they got to help tear down? <laughs> <laughs> Al just puts on like his, his working boots. Yeah. Hi right, everybody. What is this? She's just kind of bouncing around. Vortex. This is a wonderful town. Is this Brooke Shields? Uh, that's not Brooke Shields. Okay. You, listen, you're out here talking Brooke Shields. Don't... You know what Brooke Shields looks like. In theory. Yeah, I do. I, now, listen, we're in 240p, so I, I, I'm I 99% she, sure that's not Brooke she Shields. She could be back there somewhere. We don't know. Yeah. This isn't doing it for me right no, now. No, I, uh, gotta be honest. We've done a few of these. This is right up there with, uh, that one... Up in the balcony, the sad oh, song, the, yeah, the, the, sailboat. The, the, yeah, the the falsetto. Broadway yeah, I didn't stuff. like yeah, that yeah, one. Yeah. I don't like this yeah, one. Much. Let's just give it a second and see if it. Whoa goes ho on. ho! 
Whoa. I don't quite understand what she's up to. <laughs> maybe, I, maybe I missed the plot somewhere. But why is she the way she is? Do we know why? Uh, wait, has she taken it off? Do we know why she has Vortex written on her? Oh, no. it's gone. She did take it off. <laughs> but I also, like, she's... I don't know what she is doing. <laughs> she's almost, if you, ironically, doing a bit of a, a bad Elvis in some ways. She is doing a bit of a bad Elvis. <laughs> Maybe she's a holdover from uh, from the last gig. Man, if my dad wasn't out already, he's definitely changing. Uh, imagine if now. he's like, hey, Brand, I'm going to give the Broadway a chance this year. Like, you know, and then. I, I got to be. I mean. This is as uh, uh, bad as it gets. This is a zero from the Rye Guy. I'll go three because I just wow. can't find it to go lower because these are people that are doing what they want to do with their lives, and I think that's wonderful. That is beautiful. Um, but, like, think about this, man. It's, what, approximately 9.23 on Thanksgiving morning? This is a, you know what this is, Bran? This is a, this is prime time right now for... Hey, honey, you need any help with the stuffing? I got, a, I got five minutes. <laughs> Man. All right. I got, some, uh, wonder, I got some wonderful town info for you. I'm ready. Uh, premiered in 1953 on Broadway. Oh, wow. We, we're, yeah. we're besmirching a classic. Yeah. And it, uh, it ran from 58 to 66. And then apparently there was, apparently, <laughs> uh, that was the uh, New York Center production. And then there was a Weston production that was going on from 55 to 86. Is it possible they just picked the worst and most boring possible song from this iconic it's historic possible. show? Like, Okay, so you might be wondering, oh, okay, that's not now. That ended a while ago. You're correct. It was revived in 03. Um, and it ran from 03 and it closed actually pretty soon after this happened. It closed oh, January 30th, 0, uh, 05. So, so another two months. This was like months. their big outro. Another two months, yeah. So there you go. Well, we hope all these folks are doing well. Yeah, I don't, I listen, I, I don't care for this show and maybe that's, uh, maybe I just don't get, understand it. Maybe I don't understand it. Did they just say Coach Bombay is going to be on? Right. Don't say it if you can't bring it. I, I can't. Don't bring it up. Don't even don't even joke about a thing like that. Midtown Manhattan is looking foggy. Yeah. Did you hear what she said? This is uh, Turkey Camp One. Turkey Cam One. So the camera that's Cam One. Yes, Turkey Cam One. That dream team comes to NBC this coming Sunday night. At nine o'clock with Kelsey, Jason Alexander, Jane Krakowski, and Jesse Oh, this is Elmark Christmas Carol the, the musical. World premiere of the musical, a Christmas Carol. Charles you ever Dickens seen that? Holiday Earlier in no. The week, the and also, I have an update Frazier for you. Uh, uh, it, uh, the, the, there's a Broadway show called Bombay Dreams. So, so Kelsey, not Coach Bombay at all. And Central Park West, Darn. Where the parade begins. Are they? Are they performing? No. This is a package. So here's the thing. You're doing Christmas Carol the musical. You very famously do musicals throughout the entire Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. But instead, let's just put uh, Kelsey uh, Frazier here and a, uh, and, a, and, a, and, a, and a chopper. So did he play the dad, I guess, in the Christmas Carol the Music or Christmas Story the Musical? He was Scrooge, as best I recall it. Oh, it's Christmas I, Carol the Musical. Sorry. Yeah, I believe I own it on physical media. He'd be a good Scrooge. Uh, I can see that. Yeah, we should uh, we should cover that on a different pod we do one of these days. But let's pod let's pod a uh, a, a musical. <laughs> we I definitely guy guys clearly I'm not the guy to do that because I my dad didn't let me watch him so. This is bizarre. This it's, is just well, showing us the parade route. Yeah, it, we're low energy 20, uh, 24 minutes. One hundred percent. 100%. Yeah. And we talked about, oh, look at that. We don't often get that shot. I do like that. That's not bad. But we talked uh, about 2014 and how, like, frantic it seemed. Yeah. And how they, like, you know, didn't let anything breathe and it was moving so quickly. This is almost the opposite. It feels yeah. like it feels like everything is just kind of, like, sitting, you know, in the 
adventures and it's very much like a mellow hey happy thanksgiving hey you know well you're doing well thanks for waking up early with us here on today like you know yeah and cast members of bombay dreams with bombay dreams quack 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 Do you like how um, Matt made uh, Katie say it in case like he didn't want to say it wrong? He didn't want to get in trouble. I didn't catch that, but that, that doesn't surprise me in the least. But I gotta say, instrumental-wise, so far this is the best we've had. This is a bop. Oh yeah. This is uh, this is poppy. This is poppy. It's not what you typically get out of the old Broadway performances. You know what I mean? Yeah. Is this? Uh, this is a uh, this is gonna rival Lucy Hale, I think. <laughs> it's a Bollywood themed musical. In case you couldn't figure that out, my Bombay love premiered in London in '02. Premiered in uh, Broadway in '04. Did a tour in '06. Come and shakalaka with me. I don't know this, what that uh, means, and I don't know if I'm allowed to say it, but come and shock a uh, with me. <laughs> this, this main, uh, our star here, has a lot of presence. I like this. I would have opened with this. Yeah, it's good. Oh. You know, oh, Brent, you know what, though, sorry to uh, take away from Bombay Dreams, but you know what's been interesting? Oh. I feel like both 94 and 14 have had this. We have not seen a single balloon yet other than some quick aerial shots. That's true. That's Typically, true. they are showing you, they're giving you, like, those pre-routes. Yeah, when yeah. over by Central Park, that's right. Yeah. And so, yeah, this is just very plotting so far. This is our highlight so far, but even this is just, this is a seven for the Rye guy, as much as I like the tune. I'm right there with you, uh, Ryan. I'm going with a seven. I think that it's it's, uh, it's definitely very nice. It's definitely very nice and not something that I was anticipating, uh, especially after the first couple of uh, Broadway uh, performances. But uh, interesting enough, according to the fan wiki, we only have one more Broadway before the Rockettes. So that seems like a, a one or two less than both 94 and 14, it feels right, like, so right? Yeah, we talked for a few minutes at the top. We're roughly, what, 28 minutes into the parade itself, probably? Yeah. So if you're thinking 18 minutes of commercials, that's probably about right. You know, like they'll, they'll do some, but, some but, filler. But remember, Ryan, we, we've started with the Mike Miller dance team. So s yeah. between Mike Miller dance team and the Rockettes, there was only f there's only four Broadway performances in 2004. That's not a lot. We've amped up both... Well, I, I don't want to speak to 94, although I feel like 94 was 94, were... there was, I believe, six before the Rockettes. Actual Broadways. Here's the thing, Bran. I mean, I, I, I don't want to be grim to the 2004 Broadway scene, but maybe it was just a downtime for Broadway, you know? <sighs> I, would ne I would never try to push that agenda, but you could be correct. Wow, correct. they loved it. Look at look, Yeah, <laughs> look they at love this. it. Ha, do, da, da. The, the song reminds me of, like... Like a it's like Sled Storm on PlayStation One. Did you ever play Sled Storm? <laughs> I was a, I was more of a uh, SSX tricky guy. Sure, um, sure. But uh, a big promo push for the Chicken Little balloon. I remember Chicken <laughs> Little being a flop and a half, but oh, they were obsessed with it. Can you imagine? Uh, can you imagine it's Chicken Little where the the sky is falling. <laughs> uh, I've never seen it. Okay. I mean, imagine being the balloon, though. I think the sky's fla falling now. Al. There he is. Oh, oh Mr. Monk. Monk. Monk a big hit on the Gosh, he's the best, Tony, isn't he? What a dream team right here. What you got, Tony? Adrian Monk is afraid of just about everything. Germs, heights. Crowds. This would drive him nuts here, wouldn't it? Yeah. This, the, the the number of people here, the number of clowns here would, would give him <laughs> a lot of problems. I'm enjoying it. That's good. That's um, good. How many millions would you say are uh, here? At least 42 million watching. Oh my God. Two and a half million on the parade route. You, you're not getting nervous, are you? Define millions. Wait a second. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> He's great. <laughs> Tony's a funny guy. Tony's He's a funny a guy. How about uh, Al actually doing a, a, ni a nice little chat with Tony instead of like, you know, questioning Hey, Tony, hard. did you have to uh, re-up your Metro card to get here today? Or <laughs> Did you do the monthly or did you just do weekend pass? What were your thoughts yeah, yeah. there? Where Monk uh, takes in a, a two-year-old. He, he really pushing Monk here in 04. Well, that sounds like an interesting plot line. Do you know that Monk adopted a two-year-old at one point? I feel like I remember <laughs> that. Yeah, I, 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 there was a time where I had seen every Monk episode. I loved Monk. Were you a psych guy? I wasn't a psych guy, believe oh, it or not. Oh, psych's a fun show. I think you'd love I know, psych. I know. Everyone says it. Look at Barn. Yeah. It's a good-looking balloon. He's got a trumpet. He's got a cool hat. But again, Brent, doesn't this just seem very mellow right now? Super mellow. It's super yeah. mellow. It's interesting. I don't love it, if I'm being honest. I, You know, I, I and I don't know if... It's not like... I was going to say, I wonder if, like, you know, 04 is still kind of close to 01. Maybe the, 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 the still the 9-11 effect on the parade. I, I, and, no, I was literally just thinking the same thing. Yeah, I don't but, know. But, I mean, they still... They had a parade in 01. Um, yeah. I don't know. So this would have been the... If you count that one, this would be the fourth parade since. Yeah, oh, wow, back-to-back -back Owls. Wow. What's this? Committed, guys. Welcome. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank See, you. these are interesting Thank time capsules. Like, this show probably yeah. made it one season. Yeah. But this is like, uh, yeah, it, it, it does, it just committed. I've never heard this show before in my life. But, uh, yeah, it just feels very low energy so far. Right. Yep. <laughs> Al just said, you know what else the dudes dug? Uh, but... I yeah, I I think our best hope is that once the balloons really get going, like uh, we you know we feel a little more lived in and familiar. But I will tell you, early on here, almost uh, 35 minutes into us doing this, we were we volleyed back and forth on whether or not we loved the snappiness of 2014. Right now, I would take that snappiness 10 times out of 10. 100 percent 100 percent and i think even 94 felt snappy compared to oh yeah no this is by far i would i would even have the fourth of july spectacular ahead of this right now downtown to Herald Square. Katie and Matt, going to see you guys soon. Okay, right. we'll keep your seat warm. And have a nice walk down, Hal. It is the surf party of the year, the classic hit song. Surf party of the Brian year? Wilson and the Beach Boys. The invitations are out. Oh, you think Stamos is there? Wave Broadway <laughs> musical. Place, the Eugene O'Neill Theater. Date, January 27th. Dress. Wetsuits optional. Right now, here's the cast. Wetsuits optional? What does that mean? Does it mean you can show up naked? <laughs> there we go. Now we're talking. All right. Maybe this is just what we needed. I didn't know that uh, they had a... Uh, I do vaguely recall this. You do? A musical? A Broadway? I think it, I the, the wiki may tell me I'm wrong, but I, I think this ran for a while. 04 That's was a big year for Broadway jukebox musicals. Yeah. The Elvis one, the, the, the Beach Boys one. It opened. Oh, no, it did not have a long run. Oh, okay. Only 94 performances. Opened uh, oh, wow. February 05 to ran April 24th, 05. So wow. that seems like not good, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, listen That's again, you, you got there, but oh, but it's interesting how many of these are debuting at the I Macy's think that maybe Parade. Is the, maybe is that the thing, you know, like... It's a good way to get some uh, publicity to some new Broadways that are either just now premiering or premiering in the new year. It would make sense that it's a good way to do it, you know? Totally. It's nice. I, I just, maybe I'm not a... Uh, a jukebox musical fan is it just like what do they do do they just do they tell a story or is it just like hey there's uh, some there's, songs? there's there's story but i feel as though that um i i actually think it's probably the inverse i think there often can be like have you heard of and juliet i've heard of it yeah i don't know much about so, it so i think it's like a really i can't i won't bore you because i don't also know the full specifics of the plot but i think it's a really interesting take on like 
uh, you know, Romeo and Juliet, but from like Juliet's POV. But it actually bums me out that that's a jukebox musical. Uh, going six, by the way. I'm going four. Hey, together, but they have perfect ten. Um, but uh, because I feel like with a jukebox musical, ultimately, it's basically just going to like a cover band concert, yeah. you know? Yeah. Which I listen. I'll go to a Daughtry cover band concert, you know, <laughs> you know, any day of the listen, week. Listen, you're but, only human. Yeah, I'm going home, but you know. Uh, Go Daughtry or go home. I've always said that. Uh, this just feel again. No, I, all these folks are working hard. They gave up their Thanksgiving morning to be with us here on the National Broadcasting uh, Company Corporation. Company, company, corporation. Company, company. Um, it's I, just uh, much like the show itself. It's just a little low energy right now. I don't. Uh, I, I. You know what? I think that this is this is good though. This is definitely, it looks like they're having fun. They're jumping around, all that good stuff. And, um, but it's pretty crazy to think, right? We're 30, 30, 30, 35 minutes into the actual parade itself. And um, we're almost to the Rockettes. Yeah. yeah, I mean, this is as... Oh, uh, they made a peacock in the background. Uh, uh, that's very That's fun. nice, shout you out. Know, I, what, what was I at? A th- I'll you bump were, up to a four just for the You peacock. were at a four. I'll bump up to a five. Just there you for go. The there he is. Yeah. Oh, look at him. He's wow. so happy. I mean, that's probably that's that's the thing. That's probably the highlight of these folks' lives, right? Oh my gosh! Can you imagine getting to perform on the? Oh, it's oh. Little Bill. Oh. <laughs> Wait, does Little Bill have relation to Bill Cosby? Yeah, it was about. It was yeah, yeah. Was it? Yeah. Yeah. Huh. That's a complicated one to talk about. It's a great show. I, I mean, I'm. I think it's. I would not have guessed that Little Bill had a balloon. Oh, the the Polar Express. Brand. That's right. The Rockettes are doing Polar Express. Now, Brand, much like me, you are an avid supporter of the Polar Express. Yes, yes I am, Ryan. Thank you for bringing that up. I uh, do love this movie. I have long thought that it should be a, a musical. I thought that I think that it would actually work quite well. So to see the uh, Rockettes showing some love. It's nice. Do you think it's time? Because listen, they've got box. They, hold on, real quick. I'm sorry. Big year for boxes so far. Oh, the uh, first hour for boxes. Yeah, between. I wonder. I can. I. I wonder if these are leftover boxes from Mike Miller's team. Did they leave their boxes for the Rockettes? Really nice of uh, M Double to just leave them 100%. hanging around. Thanks for yeah. calling them that. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Um, you gotta wonder. Is it time? For a live action Polar Express, like, are we dragging our feet? Uh, I think we're well overdue. Like, I mean, listen, even you and I will say that the animation wasn't at you the know, very we- least a remake with with better animation. I think. Yeah. Uh, with, with, Still, just, Tom Hanks in every role. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> listen, I'm only human. <laughs> Uh, the Rockettes are crushing. That's no surprise to anyone. Yeah, listen. The Rockettes are always a 10. We know that. They ne- they never they never disappoint. They're in a circle now as well. Big year for boxes. Big year for circles. Yeah, I wonder if that was like an NBC edict. Like, hey, we got a lot of circles going this year. And we got this overhead need- shot from Turkey 2. Ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba. <laughs> This is very so. Here's what's interesting. I wonder, I wonder if in 04 the Christmas Spectacular just had a Polar Express section, or if this was specific choreo that the Rockettes had to learn for the Thanksgiving. Day you know, break. very interesting thing I just thought of, and I googled it, and I was correct. Polar Express came out November 10th, 04. So this is fresh. Two weeks this, old. Yeah, yeah. This music is fresh. There's a lot of people, Rye, that possibly have never even seen the Polar Express and are, are being uh, introduced to it for the first time. That could have been you. Rockette. Could have been. Did you see it in theaters? I feel like I did. But this could have been, depending on when you saw it, Will Brand's intro. Oh, my gosh. The, 
kidding me? What are they? What are this? What are you? What are you? You're 12 at this point. 12. Are you at any point having like a man? Christmas is for kids phase. Literally never had that. <laughs> if anything, the older I got, the more excited I would get, and that's still true today. Yeah, me too. I gotta be honest. Like I'm thinking about my. I've been thinking about my Christmas lights a lot lately because we are going to be uh, transitioning. Oh, uh, hold on. Uh, let's, uh, let's hold put on. Some we'll respect. get to that in a put second here. Respect. Oh, yeah, that, I like that camera work there. I was about to say I felt like that was a little bit uh, a tough t turn. No, I, I liked it. It felt lived in. That was really, like, really good. Ten. Ten. For as um, underwhelming as the 04 Parade has been so far, that was, uh, for me personally, I think my favorite Rocket performance. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, that has everything you you want. It's got, you know, I mean, but we are, quite specifically uh, the Polar Express. We're transitioning to color lights outside. Um, for oh, the longest wow. time, my wife was, uh, I, I, you know, I could go either way. Um, yeah. Like, I think if, if, if I had a, a preference, it would be color lights. But I like them both. I think they both have a place. But my wife was. Uh, Hold on, Brad. I think this is this. Oh is, yeah, this I'm sorry. I, uh, listen, no, we're gonna pick important. right back up on that. So, here's why, from a historical perspective, the ribbon cutting. This is they don't really do it this way anymore. I think we even saw this in 14. The ribbon cutting, the the, the, the first hour is just a preview in 04. I don't that was think that. I don't. Yeah, I think 2014. I think they still did it early though. I don't yeah. think that's correct, Ryan. But at least they are showing us the route. They did not like. They, yeah, they, that's, they that's saw that, true. They saw that first hour just now as we're gonna do some Broadway. We're gonna warm people up. People are still asleep. The parade is only starting right and now. And I don't. I personally, 2014, I felt like was a really good combo because they did it early, but they kept cutting, you know, to that Central Park cam where you'd see the the yep. balloons begin to go around. The look at those elephants. Those are really cool. If, if you if you want to if you want that first hour to not be the parade, call it the preview show. But when I turn on NBC at 9 a.m. on a Thursday morning, I want morning, a little. I want a little parade. It's, called, it's still like called the between. Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Yeah, I want know? a little bit of it cut in there. You know, I understand. I listen. I understand what's happening. I just want a little little preview of what's to come. Get me, get me kind of uh, in the in the parade mode. But any whom, um, back to your lights. Yes. So for the longest time, she was like, I only like white lights. But then something changed last year after I put up all the lights. She was like, what if next year we do color? And that was all, all I needed, right? So I've been doing a lot of research because my problem is, of course, I want to go LED uh, for no other reason than power, like the the energy that you save on LED versus the incandescence. But you, there's. Uh, I drive by a lot of houses and I see their color lights and I said those colors don't look right, right. because I think there's something magical about the uh, incandescent color yeah. lights and how they're supposed to look. And so I've been doing a lot of research trying to find the perfect light while also not like spending a million dollars on lights because there totally. is uh, some companies out there that's like that's their thing like they're LED but they look like the real thing but they're pricey you're gonna pay for it so just trying to figure that out. I um I'm I'm gonna talk to some people, try yeah, to figure out what's best. Yeah. yeah, see what I'm gonna. Uh, but I'm gonna, but I my thought uh, Rai is I'm gonna I think I'm gonna uh, document the whole thing this year. I'm gonna create a vlog. I'm gonna vlog Ooh. it, vlog my process. I love that. What do we got here? Who's this? Do you know? I believe it's the Baker Mayfield uh, marching band. <laughs> 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 It's, uh, uh, it was definitely Baker, Baker High. Yeah, you're right. Baker High School from Mobile, Alabama, according yeah. to the Macy's Thanksgiving Parade fan wiki, which we use for a lot of stuff. They're playing something called NYC. Let's listen to it for a second. Literally just a second. Uh, okay, just a good. second. <laughs> uh, we're not telling uh, tales out of school here. Baker, Baker Hyde, to be specific. Uh, that was a five for, for the right guy. I'm going six. I'm going six. Look at those pumpkins hey, listen, popping around up there. Two weeks of school during Hurricane Ivan. They got their routine together. Oh, did you hear that backstory? No, I did not. Hurricane Ivan hit Mobile, Alabama. They were out of school for a long time. They had two weeks to put that performance together, and here they are today at the Macy's I'm going, to, I'm going up. That's a heartwarming, warming story. 
Oh man, uh, uh, Tom Turkey, who's up there? T minus 19 there? years till uh, 18 years till Mario. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be a fun thing to track everyone. Julie Roberts, who brings some Nashville to New York. That's just yeah, that's just the the the, the normal. I think Mario was the first time they said let's put someone famous up there. I think so, but again, I, I'm going. I, I choose to believe that they always give him the option, <laughs> and and Mario was the first to go. Yeah, you yeah, bet. Let's, let's go up there. You bet. Who is this? Julia, Julia Roberts, of course. Julia Roberts out there singing. <laughs> Pretty Woman. <laughs> Even the first song, Ryan, is kind of this low energy Also, Christmas. they got the year wrong. Oh, that, they're, they're promoting the 2005 CMA Awards, but that's we're the year 2004. Yeah, this is... Uh, now, listen, we got some we got some heavy hitters coming. I saw Ryan Cabrera's on the other uh, Ooh, on the way down. Is he on the way down? Yeah, I, yeah, he's coming if down If he, Main listen, Street. if he doesn't play on the way down, I riot. Could you imagine if he had, like, a different hit at, at this time in 2004? Oh, man. <clears throat> well, uh, here's, this is, I will just tell you this. Uh, 2019, I'm in Chicago. And we're we're do, gonna do an interview on this uh, Chicago morning show. We right. were on a we did a little tour in 2019. And, uh, I recall it. Uh, I stuff. remember because I was there. That's right. Yeah. So in um, in in uh, Chicago, I go and I do this morning show. And who am I sharing a green room, room with? Then one Ryan Cabrera. Look at that. And what song did Ryan Cabrera sing in 2019 on this morning show? On the way down. On the way down. So listen. I, were you like jamming out in the green room? Yeah, he was, he was great. I mean, he wasn't really playing anything, but he was a cool guy. We talked. We had some fun. Apparently, he was going to be in a uh, a Lifetime movie later that year, and we talked about like having him on, and then you know nothing really happened. Did the movie there, ever but. happen? Do we know? I I think it did. Oh, nice. I think it did. This is Grover, right? We're looking Grover. at Grover. Look at that nose. Even Grover seems like an interesting first balloon choice, doesn't he? I like it. I actually really like Grover here. Oh, that's a cool shot. I, I love this, the hero shots. I think it's a good. I think this is a good one. I actually really like it. I'm going eight for Grove. I'm going I'll go for seven Grove. for Grove. You know, realizing. We could have just probably used our fingers all the time. I don't think so. I think there's something to it. I think there's something to it, Ryan. And actually, I'm going to ask you to go to the bathroom and get yours, please, sir. Because uh, I'll, 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 I'll wait for the next musical. We got Ronald McDonald coming. I'll go uh, shortly after that. Just because, just because the parade's low energy, Ryan, doesn't mean we don't have to uh, bring our best with our number cards. <laughs> oh, that's oh, I nice. I like that. I like that. That's obviously a ten. It's just a circle balloon, though, right? I like I like the message behind it. Whoa, look at this. Oh, that's cool. Oh, what a float. Oh, here he is. Here he is, Ryan Cabrera. I know those frosted tips anywhere. Yeah, I remember watching him uh, on uh, Ashley Simpson's reality show. She Ashley Simpson's little. back, by the way. Really? Yeah, she just she just, uh, she just did an updated release of autobiography. Everybody's out there just redoing their stuff. Like, let's can you just put out something new? Have you thought about like just writing a new song and seeing? I, mean, I haven't talked to Ashley about it personally. Yeah, maybe she'll be on the Macy's Thanksgiving Parade this year. How about that? Wouldn't that be something? Imagine Ashley Simpson Christmas album. No. Oh no! Oh, you've got to be kidding! Me. Sorry, Bran. Oh, this is a good tune. It's a good tune, but again, this is a low energy song. You yeah. had a chance to bring on the way down. Maybe he'll be a medley. He looks great though. Ryan's never yeah. looked better. That is. That's that's prime that's, that's prime Ryan Cabrera. Yeah. You could still grow the fro out, Brand, if you wanted to, right? Oh yeah, when I mean yeah, I got listen, I got a little something going on right now. I need a haircut. <laughs> yeah, this is these are too low energy. I, I I don't understand it, Ryan. Did we miss a memo? About, <laughs> I forgot about this. Is a good tune. Good. It's passable. This was, I mean, this was like 2005. Heartbroken Ryan. I would do this all the time. You know. <laughs> Who broke your heart? No five. Who are you talking listen, about? I, she's she's doing well these days. But, okay. All right. And uh, we're we're on speaking terms. You know. You didn't deserve that though. Is all I'm saying. This is okay. It's nice. Chorus is good. I love them all waving Lego blocks in the air in front of film. Like, hey, if you don't do it well, we're going to throw them at you. 
This actually is a really beautiful song. Nice. Just Legos spinning around him. That's that's an eight for me. Uh, I yeah, I'll go eight as well. I'll go eight for the floats. I'll go eight for the performance. Good job all around. On the way down would have been a ten, but there's only so much that I can control. There's still time. He could come back. <laughs> he comes back around. He's on a different float. He realized he didn't sing his hit. <laughs> Oh, did they get? From Waukesha, was North there a year where the parade got Kennedy rained out? And Steve Fisher. Let me see. This they there. This school is linkable on the Macy's Thanksgiving Parade wiki, so I bet there's a, a backstory here. Or maybe weather prevented them from coming. But there has to be a year where it's just downpour. Brand, I just really love the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. <laughs> I was great. looking at the logo and I was like, man, what a thing. It's great, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this was, uh, this is uh, their second time performing. They performed in 99 and they also performed again in 2010, something to look forward to. Oh, good for them. But I, I don't wonder, see anything about it, there. like, I don't see anything about it being rained out or whatever, so. Hmm, we, we, we need to probably listen to Katie better in the future. That's on us. That's, that's, that's listen, on us. Well, listen, we need to listen to Katie better. Willard, this character's a shoe-in, getting miles of giggles to the gallon. Is McDonald's Are you a bigger Steve Grimace Matthew guy or a bigger Hamburglar guy? Oh my gosh, just like picking your favorite child. You can do it, but you don't <laughs> want you to. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go with... Grimace. Wow. Uh, I might go Hamburglar. Okay. And listen, there's no wrong answer here. There's no, no wrong it's kind of. It's kind of like choose your own adventure. Oh, Ryan's. Uh, uh, Ryan. Ronald is. Uh, <laughs> Ryan's watching Ronald do the little finger guns there. <laughs> I'm Ronald McDonald. Yeah. Well, he's, uh, I think they maybe could have nailed those eyes a little bit better on Ron. Going six on this Ronald McDonald. I'm not a, I'm not, a, not as high on this. I'm gonna go five. By the way, I was gonna go grab my scoring uh, apparatus, but I believe Alyssa's taking a work call at where it is at the moment. So we're, we're, we're in a tough spot. Keep, we're in a tough spot. Keep rocking. We keep rocking with our. Uh, well, luckily you still rocking. have hands. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, God willing. Listen, God once forbid. You, once yeah. you lose those, then we got to figure something out. Yeah. Oh, there he is going around the corner there. World's largest Macy's. Brent, I don't mean to just keep talking about because I've also been, you know, I'm in a, I'm in a new uh, apartment this year, so I've been thinking a lot about my Christmas setup. It's not going to be as uh, conducive as it was. Well, li listen, I've seen your uh, Christmas setup in past years, and it's, so, it's elaborate. That's going to change. Yeah. That's like so I, I believe uh, that was one of my toy display shelves is just going to be converted into Christmas. Mm, and that's going to be that's just going to be in the office cuz a lot of that stuff just there's no room for it in the living room. But all of that to say Alyssa and I have been debating because this is our first year living together. Real tree versus uh, my of Costco course, tree. It's a bit. It's a big decision that everyone has to make. Now, listen. You know, I, I I'm very pro real tree, but I've just my I the best purchase I've ever made in my life is my changing lights Costco tree, which now sells for far more than I paid for it when I got it in 2019. Uh, where are you at with that this year? Uh, as we hit mid August here at the time of recording, in terms of real tree versus. Well, listen. I know you've come under a lot of scrutiny for this. I haven't been one of those people. Uh, oh, oh, I, that's interesting because I feel other like than I, maybe a time or two. Yes, I recently recall you joining in on the quote-unquote fun. I. Uh, oh, what do we got here? Oh wow, wait, this is more Broadway. If I'd like to have my. It is interesting. What? But this isn't pacing. This isn't helping us pacing-wise. Princess Annalise and Erica. This is a uh, a Barbie show, apparently, from a Barbie you know, I've show. I've actually legitimately heard very good things about those Barbie Christmas specials. I've never seen them. This is not Have the only time this, uh, this is not the only time that this uh, happens, uh, Ryan. Apparently, there's uh, there's 
quite a few times that somebody like a, there's been a Barbie performance on the Barbie float. This is something these that. were as best I know. And maybe the wiki can tell differently or maybe I'm just going to spitball it. We're going to hope that I'm right. I believe that these were very big in the direct to DVD market. Oh, and of course. Yeah. Like, yes. Um, and again, I've heard they're pretty good. I've never I've never seen one. Maybe when we're done with parades, we'll uh, pot a Barbie direct to DVD Christmas special. I yeah. <laughs> listen, it, Every good every idea is a good idea when you're spitballing. I uh, who do you hear it from? Who are you talking to that's raving about the Barbie straight to? I I, I think VHS it was. Uh, I mean, I don't think it will surprise you that I think, especially in the the early aughts, I was just looking for lists of like good new Christmas specials, and I believe that was on some of those lists. Maybe it's just one. Maybe I don't know. Maybe 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 they're all trash, but one. <laughs> You know, uh, I don't even know how many there are. Ryan's out there pushing the Barbie agenda. Yeah. I mean, if anything, I mean, they're they're probably more topical now than ever after uh, Barbenheimer. You know, uh, you know, Barbie was based on a true story. No, I didn't know that. Oppenheimer, work of fiction. Well, that's I understand that. All right. Let's see what we got. Uh, what are we ranking Barbie? I'll give that a seven. Uh, I'll go six. Okay. Is that just because you had it open at the That's time? That's exactly why. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Let's bring it, boys. Do you? Can you imagine how pumped we're going to be when somebody finally has some pep in their step? Could oh, be this. This is good. I like the movement. Instrumentation's good. You know what we do lose, Bran, in the way we're doing this? And granted, it would be insane to do it with commercials. But the Macy's Thanksgiving, like the the, the Christmas commercials you get during the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, uh, that really does add a lot to the experience. So wouldn't you agree? But, But, Brian, we can't. I mean, maybe one time, right? Yeah. Well, maybe. I listen from. Is that uh, paywall content? Uh, maybe. My uh, my good my good pal Scott from uh, Christmas morning. By the way, I thought that was actually really good. Oh, that was a that was a seven for me. Uh, I'm gonna go up to an eight. Wow. Um, he from 2012 to now, every year he records the parade in full with the commercials, and has it in a digital format. So that one day he can give them all to his daughter and she can see the, the commercials from every right. year. And so I have access to said files. So anytime you want to do a 2012 onward with commercials, we could do that. I say we do it one time. Oh, granted. Oh, gotta, my gosh. Look oh, at those wow. bears. That's, you know, that might be the highlight so far. It, oh, they're hugging. They're hugging. Those bears are in love. Oh, you she can't match believe that it. bear brand. Your jacket kind of is there. So. Raven, when she was a Cosby show star at the age Raven? Of three. Right now, Raven Simone serenades her longtime furry friends with that clip from the album, This Is My Time. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, you oh, go, Raven. Shades. That, that, oh! Yeah, that's so Raven. And she's just kind of down there, huh? Mm. I think it's a really cool thing to title your album My Time Is Now. What a bold move by it Raven. It sure is. But that's she Raven. Was. Listen, that's so Raven. That that's is who so she is. That's Raven. That's who she is. She only knows how to do things one way. This sounds a lot like, uh, uh, gosh, I can't. Uh, there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a comp for me, too. I will say that it's a very 2004 sound, not in a bad yeah, way. Yeah, oh, absolutely. I didn't know that. I, I knew that she sang the That's So Raven theme song. I didn't know that Raven had a, a musical uh, career. I believe several albums, yeah. Wow. And I bet she's charting at this time because the show is so popular. Oh. And Cheetah Girls, you know, is, uh, are you, of course. Uh, yeah. Cheetah Girls 2, for when you get to it at Decom Descendants, by the way, far better than Cheetah Girls 1. <laughs> All right. Just something for you to keep in mind. Sky is falling incident behind him. Thank goodness. It's the fabled Chicken Little furniture. Ah, the star of the show. Here we go. First year for... 
for uh, our guy Chicken Little. Chicken Little had to be one and done, right? Again, you continue to slander the name that is Chicken Little. Have you not learned from from all the other times you've been like, surely it's a one and done, that it's never a one and done? Well, it's just, it just—it was a popular, barely film that year, but they're going to keep trotting Chicken Little out there? You, you spend all this time and, and money <laughs> making a balloon. Uh, Ooh, like, is, this the, is this the Chicken Little score? Uh, I don't know. 2004, 2005. <laughs> for what it's worth. <laughs> Two years for Chicken Little. Because uh, they had to promote it on video the next year. Yeah, well, apparently the movie didn't come out until 2005. So this was a... Uh, oh, that, they just were really confident in Chicken Little. They sure were. 60 degrees? Yo, that's crazy. I wonder uh, what the warmest one on record is, because 60 is nuts. Oh, this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. They, this rock wall that people can, like, they actually have people propelling down and moving. And, oh, yeah, and it's shaped like a rhino. Oh, someone's up there. <laughs> We're up here. We're on top of the rhino. <laughs> Oh, look at those rhinos. Is this the Raven song again? No, this is Nina Sky. You know, the Sky family. Wait, are they are they collectively Nina Sky? Yeah, I think so. Bran, you would agree to go quickly back to the temperature. And I know that, you know, talking about the weather is the lowest form of, uh, you know, human conversation. Agree but to disagree. Um, but uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas Day, you want it 50 or below, right? And even 50 is probably too high. Oh, of course. It doesn't happen often here. In, in, I was going to say, you're probably uh, SOL, as the 60s kids say. 60s would be great. 60s yeah. would be great. It's been warmer, though. You've had a 70-degree Christmas Day? Oh, yeah. Well, and growing up in Florida too. Like, oh, you know. man. actually, that's the thing. Where you you were really like you were really Kevin McAllister in Home Alone too. Uh, you know, who wants to have Christmas in a warm climate anyway? One hundred percent. Yeah. I, I think. Listen, I think it's part of the reason why I really don't like that state. Yeah. Is it's what just like all the like I, all I wanted was a cold, a cold Christmas. How many cold Christmases have, have you had? A few. You know, my extended family lives in Maine, and so we've spent some Christmases up in Maine and okay. like that, but. And 210 parents. Were you worried Santa wasn't going to get to Maine? I'm sure yeah, I was. He was I'm sure, I was a concern know you were there. Mine, of course. Yeah. All right, we got. Oh, uh, what are you giving Nina Sky? I actually thought that that uh, was that was, a, that was a that was a that was a four for the Rye guy. Going five. I'm going five. But I got high hopes for this uh, marching band. This is a big band. No, it's gonna be tough to top Baker Mayfield High. <laughs> Look, they keep coming. There you go. This is this is a, uh, a plethora of people. Listen, the band's clear. The song's clear. Mr. Feeney, this is Bugs Bunny. You're totally out of your element here. Talking about my good friend George. Yeah. Hey, that's your buddy. I don't know. I've heard his words sometimes. This is good. This band is it's as good. clear as it gets. We've still. Would you agree, though, Bran? And I, I hate to keep bringing up old stuff, but like we've still yet to have anyone be like, you know, let's give him a bop. This is very good, though. It's very good. I've seen a lot of bands. Going eight. It's a nine for me. It's a nine for me. Call me crazy. It's a nine. Wow. That's a lot of. pretty good, huh? That's pretty good. Brian, uh, how, so we're an hour in. With the, What's the runtime on this? What's the TRT? 210. 210. 210. So this is, so we're now literally more than halfway through, and this has been slow. Yeah. What's going on here? Oh. I don't think I vaguely I don't recall like it. No, I think oh, it I makes me uncomfortable, this, this I wasn't style. This, but I think I just recall that it existed. Someone's going to say, walk, like, that a, way. walk like an Egyptian? 
Oh, oh here he this is. is the, you know who this is, right? No. This is uh, one member of 98 Degrees. Oh, really? Old Jeff yeah. Timmons? <laughs> yeah. He's uh, he's big on the 90s con circuit these days. Oh, I imagine. 98 Degrees trying to make a comeback. It was actually uh, uh, unfortunate. 98 Degrees <laughs> announced their comeback uh, around September last year, like a day before NSYNC dropped Better Place. And so that wasn't a... Uh, I don't think that was the, uh, the, the rollout 98 Degrees was hoping for. This is awful. It's picking up a little bit for me. I don't know why he's doing this, though. Yeah, there's, there's a, that's a hold up for me. You think they tried to tell Jeff that he should change his name for as a solo artist? Like, Jeff Timmons, like, just doesn't... Would you want him to be just Timmons? Could be. Brand, this is this is bad. This is, actually, <laughs> this is bad, Brand. It's not good. It's not good. I'm going. I'm going two. I'm on five. The kids were cute. I'm going five. I don't know what you want us to do, guys. Little Bill as a show was great. So I don't really know what you want me to do about that. And the Little Bill. I believe there was a really good. Let's just talk. I believe there was a really good Little Bill Christmas episode. Oh my gosh. Yes, there was, Ryan. Yeah. His creator, Bill Cosby. And today are. All right. You didn't have to go ahead and mention it, Katie. Uh, we're, try we're trying to skirt around it, Katie. You and now Matt Lauer, Lauer is speaking about Little Bill. Uh, it's, uh, yeah. this, listen, these listen. We are just here to watch back the parades. Am I right? Uh, 100 percent. 100 percent. I listen. I really like the cartoon at the time. And this I really is, like this is a good listen. They didn't try to do anything crazy with Bill. Uh, little Bill. I like that he's waving. <laughs> yeah, he is waving. I a think lot that's actually. I was just going to say, though, like a lot of times they. When you have a character like this, they try to do something to it. That's give, him a, not, give him a Christmas hat. 100%. You know? This is just strictly Lil' Bill. So. Oh, wow. Getting right to a song. Oh, Will and Grace Thanksgiving tonight at 8, Bran. Is that the Target dog? What are we doing it was here? Too, it was everything in 2004, just like... Are we just all really depressed? <laughs> it feels like it. Man. Why is... Look at his dog behind her. <laughs> oh, go back to the dog. <laughs> Why is... <laughs> I don't recall Haley uh, Wisteria at all. Haley Wisteria Lane. This is interesting. On the on the fan wiki, the Golden Warrior Twelve says this is it. Everyone's favorite parade. It was a good thing they got rid of those two roaches, Kermit and Clifford, from the parade, though. Why'd they bring Kermit back in 2007? Wait, have, what the heck, Gold We War? have people saying 2004 is the pinnacle? I, the, I, the, does this person this? You would right now have this even behind, as I mentioned earlier, the Disney 4th of July spectacular, right? <laughs> and then the Golden Warrior says, only cultured individuals watch this parade. 2007 was borderline unwatchable simply because they brought back that dumb frog. What's this guy's deal with do we do, do, we have, do we have to do 07 next now? Oh, <laughs> uh, hold on. Let's listen to this band. Oh! This is Highland High School. Sarah Highland High School. <laughs> Small band, it looks like. Not as big as the last couple, that's for sure. Still big sound, though. That wasn't bad. That, was that wasn't that was bad seven. at all. I, was, I wish they had gotten more time. I like oh. what they were doing. Say this oh. Highland High Band capped a busy week with an awesome Macy's Parade debut. Like all our bands, they arrived. They, 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 they uh, walked off with a Christmas song, though, Rise. So, 
Uh, you know, I'll bump it up Ooh. to an eight. Oh, got an eight right there. We got uh, we got Pikachu in the horizon here. Okay, here we have some wacky animals going bananas, getting ready for Thanksgiving. We got here. Furnished by Georgia Pacific. Brand, this is gonna sound like an oversimplification, but you know what this is? The hippo who's bonkers about. It's as con. It's gonna sound like yeah, Ryan and Brand. That's what you're doing. This is as conventional a parade as you can have. You know, it, it, whereas, it doesn't feel like it has heart. This, this, whereas this, this, this parade is lacking a little heart. Fourteen ninety four, we had some issues. We said, hey, maybe do X, Y, and Z differently, but they were going for it. You know, uh, this one feels like a day. They just uh, said, it. listen, run it back. Let's uh, roll out of bed and do uh, do a parade. Listen, uh, somebody said I could do this parade in my sleep, and they did. What's this? this is high five. High five. Hey, Brand. High five. Now, forgive me, is High Five a children's band? I don't know if it was a band. Because this feels like a children's band. I don't know if it was a band or if it was a TV show about High Five the band. But, uh, yeah, like this isn't a song that you and I are going to be, well, you actually are grooving to it, actually, as I say that. But Living in a rainbow. I kind of... I gotta be honest, kind of dig it. Maybe I'm so starved for something. I to think dig, that's but. that might be what it is. Now, Brand, you famously every year do a uh, uh, a Christmas project. Do you think that you'll work in living in a rainbow? <laughs> well, uh, it's just just because they do it. The parade doesn't mean it's a Christmas song. Oh, right? I think that's just like just because Pentatonix just because Pentatonix does it on a Christmas song doesn't make it a Christmas song. We, hey, again, we don't have to rehash old conversations. I'm just saying. Hallelujah. Am I right? Am I right? <laughs> It's nice. I mean, it's I nice. Mean, I mean, listen, I, I want to grade on a curve because I think you're right, whereas this is just made for a very specific audience. I think I do, th- I do think that living in a rainbow is kind of catchy. But. <laughs> it is. Thank you. <laughs> you're coming around. I mean, they're having a great time. By the way, how pumped were they that, like, you know, that it was 60 degrees because they'd be freezing otherwise. Oh, that's a six. My son Jack loves high five. Hey, Jack, Jack Lauer loves high five. So there you go. There's Pikachu. Oh, real quick. What did you give high five? Six. One more than their uh, name suggests. Going seven. I'm going eight for Pikachu. Pikachu looks great. I'm also going to go eight for Pikachu, although I feel like there was a year where they gave him a Christmas hat, and I prefer that. Of course. Look at that. Oh, the song is great. Seventh season? I guess the pen pan. Are you calling into question uh, Katie's info? Well, I'm just doing the math, but, uh, you know, I think it started in 98, so, uh, in America, that is. So I think that actually tracks. Pokemon. Were you, did you, we, I don't know, we have, I apologize if we talked about this already. Did you have a Pokemon face? I uh, liked it fine. What's interesting, Ryan, as someone who has kids, uh, Pokemon cards are, are back. Oh, they're still massive. They're back. They're huge. Every kid has these little Pokemon binders yep. with all the cards in it. And uh, I don't really know. Like My kids don't really, like, they don't know what's going on with them. I still don't think anyone really plays Pokemon. We, I do have a, I have a thing that's like, here's how you play it, and here's a, a, a die and all that stuff. And... What is this? Oh, I mean, this might this might be the uh, the jolt we were looking for. Nothing says jolt like an old timey car with <sighs> with Raul Esparza and Aaron Dilly. Dilly. Oh, I don't even know if they're performing. I'm sorry, we had another Broadway. Uh, crew here and they just didn't perform? I think that was the cast from a film. Whoa! But again, why not have them and Christmas Carol the Musical perform? You know why why Christmas Carol the Musical didn't perform? Kelsey Grimmer was like, I'll do your pre-tape. I'm staying at home on Thanksgiving. Listen, you can't blame them. I gotta watch the Lions. An I a little Irish jig here. Uh, when did I? Is this before or after Luck of the Irish? <laughs> uh, it's after. Probably inspired by Ryan Merriman himself, right? It's the only thing I can think of here. This is the uh, Riverview High School from. Uh, uh, this is the River School High uh, River. Here we are. 
This is the Riverview High School uh, kil Kilty Band. Oh dear, I almost knocked my mic. Oh, oh dear, from Sarasota. That was nice. Uh, oh, what? Why is he so bummed whoa. out? He's it's, been watching the parade too. Yo, is he stoned? <laughs> that was a seven for the Kilty Band, by the way. It's red and yellow. Oh, he's working hard? We're now reporting that Gallo is hanging by a thread. Wow. All right. This is telling a story. Yeah. Uh, you know, this, this is not, I actually really like this, right? You might disagree, but I appreciate a, a balloon that. I'm letting it marinate for a second. I did a nine, by the way. A balloon, a balloon that they could have simply had the yellow and red balloon, and that would have been. That would have been fine. It would have sufficed. It would have been fine. But they chose to tell a story where Red Balloon is, uh, Red Eminem is in an, uh, a hot air balloon, and a Yellow Eminem is holding on. You know, Brand, you talked me into it. I'm giving it a four. <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna go even lower. Try again, Ryan. Dig deeper. You know, you know Brand, you talked me into it. I'm giving it a six. Yeah. <laughs> can't give this balloon man this is a low balloon wow. a low yeah, it's balloon it's also like this is a lot of time in real estate spent <laughs> and on. no one's talking yeah. matt, matt and kenny said give us a breather show the also oh, hey time out this is the same thing as fort where the heck is al roker this is even worse this is where it's been an hour al's been gone for an, it's hour. Been an hour they that doesn't happen these days fantastic floats and balloons are we at the point ready to say this balloon? Uh, this balloon, this this parade is pretty bad. I mean, that's how it, that's how it feels, right? Especially compared. Oh, she came down. <laughs> she said, "I'm I'm coming, everybody." <laughs> oh. Wait for me. When a child is born, with sign language accompaniment by World of Children, Andrea Bocelli. All right, Andrea. What a new, a severe thunderstorm warning is in effect. A tiny star Duchess County. Lights up this is nice. It's another slow song though, Ryan. I don't want to, I don't want to beat a dead horse here. I mean, so far it's, it's Raven Simone, right? In terms of the only person who said, let's uh, give something. Uh, oh, cheer and about uh, here. no. And um, high five. No. Well, yes. But also the one that went after Raven Simone. Nina Sky, Nina Sky, right? Nina Sky, yeah. The duet. Yeah. This is nice with the sign language. I think that's sweet. No, it's very. I know. Listen, we're never gonna besmirch the name of Bocelli. I'm yeah, going nine, nine for of me course, as well. for, for it. Um, and honestly, it'd be a ten if just the stuff around Bocelli had been a little more lively. Got some uh, fun facts for you, uh, real quick, Ryan. This was the final parade to broadcast in four-three aspect ratio. Oh, okay. Starting in 05, you'll start seeing that 169. That Everything looks good in four-three, right? <laughs> Everything looks old in four-three. I do think that's something. Why this one looks more like 94 than it does 2014? Wow, he's yeah. crushing that note. Yeah. So, that's the, so here's the thing. I want to give Andrea Bocelli a 10, and I love the theming of everything that's happening with this right now, but. When you have such a boring parade, uh, you know, it, it's, it's, it's bringing down everybody. I'm going 10. Uh, just for that, that final note hold uh, sold me on that one. Um, yeah, final one in 4-3. And also, there was a Mr. Snail toy float that was originally part of the, uh, the lineup. However, that toy float would be removed from the lineup in the final stages of planning. We don't know what happened to Mr. Snail. Do you think there was some, like, you know, something behind the scenes? Mr. Snail was a Seinfeld story. I guess a little docu. Here we go. Wow, that's Barney. Mr. Polar Bear, Matt. To do the Seinfeld story on Thanksgiving night. Oh, look at Barney. He's, Bar Bar Barney thinks the parade's been great. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Bring it, Barney. Where's, uh, where's BJ? DJ's over there. Oh, he's over there. Oh, it's a song about it being cold. That's fun. It's 60 fun to do that in 60 but... degree weather. <laughs> yeah. Oh! 
will 100% cover this song. I'm writing this down. <laughs> Ah, oh, who's this guy? Who's this collaborator? Mr. Polar Bear is what Katie said. Oh. It's kind of on the nose, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, I mean, instrumentation wise, they're crushing. Uh, yeah, call me crazy. This is the best performance so far. This is the droid we've been looking for to, uh... <laughs> Give him 10! Give him 10! Wait, come on! Come on, Rai! Join! Join me! Uh. Woo! Boy, I know what I'm doing at, uh... Bramble Fest oh. Karaoke next year. Yeah. Uh, hey, do you got, uh... It's Cold by it's Barney cold? and Friends <laughs> featuring Mr. Polar Bear. <laughs> Man, that was great. I mean, let, oh, followed oh, by yeah. the balloon. Yeah, this is the second appearance. This is actually one of the few balloons they gave some uh, some time to earlier today. That's true. They knew. They they. You know what? They heard it's cold, and they were it's, like, they heard it's going to be Barney's year. He's oh, half man, the size I, I, of the Museum of Natural History. I just saw the uh, what balloon is coming up next, and I can't wait. I did not, and I'm looking forward to being surprised. I cannot wait. By the it way, is, the Barney balloon, this is really good. This is an eight. This is what I the, I, I will give you um, uh, a, a clue, and you can try to figure it out. But there was this is something computer related that could not be more 2004. Dude, you're getting a Dell the balloon. It's a good guess. Thank you. It's wrong, but it's a good guess. This is a big band. Yeah, it is. Oh my gosh. Strike up the band Barney, 2003 to 2005. So, um, Barney still is around today. In terms of course, of, uh, I believe in a, a, a different, a different iteration. Yeah. I don't think he's no longer with us. No, Barney lives forever. Let's listen to this band. Okay. Ha! Huh. Yeah. Oh, we're picking up, Ryan. We're picking up. Ten. Yeah, yeah I'll back go to ten back for, ten. I'll just go ten for the good vibes, because yeah, I want the last forty minutes of this or whatever we're at to you know be a time. Between it's cold and this, it's just. Can you? Can you believe? You think they talked collab after they finished since they were oh. Right? oh man I don't think we could handle it I don't think we could handle it a, a combination -E -C -T. it's cold <sighs> that was uh, the corning point corning painted post West <laughs> high school Viking marching band Wow yeah, what no. a, it's long all right, you can see the balloon back there now. Do you I know who that is? I still can't make it out, if I'm being honest. I might not know what this is. Oh, this is a show pass. Okay, so this is something that we didn't get in 14 that we did get in uh, 94, which is just some floats with celebrities that aren't singing. This is the first that we've had today, right? Um... Uh, no, from that we had one a couple a uh, couple floats ago with that. Uh, remember, I said that's a that's a Broadway musical that they just didn't oh, you're right, uh, perform. You're right, you're right. Yep. Is this the uh, computer thing, Brent? Uh, after after this float, uh, look at the hat. The hat's all. The hat's never the hat the here, and it's better than ever. I actually believe I own this specific hat truck from 2004. Brand new SUV with shock absorbers and two motorcycles, perfect for racing. Yep, I own this. Man. Bound to be a classic. How'd they Building stumble their way into the, the toy market, I wonder? I think they I think they just you know, went for it one year and it, it picked up steam and like it's also like there's no reason why it has to be a <gasps> It's Gavin DeGraw. It's Gavin DeGraw. Oh man, you and I have performed this live. This is about I'm just gonna tell you it's a ten right right off rip. There he is. He's not trying with the lip syncing, I will say. He's probably warm in that beanie. 
I don't give I don't give a, a rip about any copyright infringement I might get for leaving this up. It's too good. Where no where I'm coming from. I don't wanna be anything other than what I've been trying to be. All I have to do is think of me and now peace of mind. Tired of looking around, you wonder what I gotta do or who I'm supposed to be. I don't wanna be anything other than me. Oh yeah! Ten, ten, ten! Back to back to back! This parade is this parade's getting better, Ryan. This parade's getting better. Yeah! Is this the best parade we've watched, Brent? It might be. <laughs> All right. So who is this guy? I don't know it. Oh, it's Mr. Ask Jeeves. Miss, it's Ask Jeeves. Can you believe that Jeeves got a float? That's a 10. I can't believe that in 04, Ask Jeeves was still in the zeitgeist, honestly. When I, uh, when I uh, first discovered Jeeves as a, a, a lad, <laughs> I was under the impression that there was somebody responding to my queries named Jeeves. So I would person I would be like, hey Jeeves, hope you're doing well. <laughs> Here's a question Honestly, for you. That could probably still work today. Like maybe we maybe you and I revive Jeeves as like an AI will automatically answer you with his voice. That's a great great point. Jeeves Oh my god. Ask, ask Jeeves a question right now. Ask let's see, let's see what happens. This is crazy. So Jeeves um, was introduced in 96. The balloon? Um, no. Just the, the, the mascot itself. Um, the, there was a Ask Jeeves float in 99. And then there was uh, one iteration of the Jeeves balloon that was active from 2000 to 2002. And then made a comeback this year in 2004. So I don't know what happened in, in 2003, but the Jeeves balloon was not, not around. Following the 2004 reprise, it was permanently retired, and Jeeves nor Ask.com have had any association with the parade ever since. Is Jeeves still around? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But I'll just say this, another fun fact for you. During this uh, this performance, uh, 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 appearance, I guess I should say, um, apparently in uh, 2000 to 2002, it had, the, it had golden keys of knowledge that it's holding in its hand. In 2004, he had no golden keys of knowledge. And that, I think, was a sign of... The, uh, the, uh, the the decline of Jeeves. He no longer had those keys available. What's this? What is going on? By the way, it's still around Ask.com. Ha! Ha! Look at these wardrobe choices. This is upbeat. I don't really know what it is, but... You uh, listen, this isn't bad, especially comparatively to everything else we've gotten. Can I say another? Uh, well, this hasn't felt like Christmas at all, other than Barney so far, right? You're right about that, Ryan. Well, it was Polar Express. Oh, and, Rockets, I, and so. I guess Barbie, right? No, and Barbie no, yeah, was doing true. Christmas yeah. things. Yeah. yeah. But still, I guess if, if that's how we're feeling, that's how we're feeling. I guess this is technically Christmas what they're doing. Or maybe it's a Thanksgiving song. Brian, do you think we need more Thanksgiving music? Just in general, in our lives. Oh. I mean to put you on the spot. I think, I mean, listen, I, I don't see why why Thanksgiving. Ben Rector put out that Thanksgiving song a couple years ago. That was nice. You heard that one? Yep. I don't believe I have. Oh, it's I'll, great. I'll it it's a, literally called the Thanksgiving song. It's very nice. Is it like going for like Christmas song vibes, but for Thanksgiving? It was on his Christmas record, yes. Yeah. But it's uh, you know it's Thanksgiving. Uh, that was a seven, and like a very like a very nice seven. Ah, uh, this is year one for SpongeBob, Brano. That's right. It is year uh, year one for SpongeBob. I do have a, a fun fact about 
uh, this SpongeBob balloon if you would like it. No, I'm good. SpongeBob lives in a pineapple under the sea in the city of Bikini Bottom. Now fans can. All right, I'll take it. Okay. Uh, SpongeBob SquarePants was snagged by a lamppost at Times Square. But was freed. This oh, caused my goodness. I know, this, this caused his arm to be bent, and it would stay that way until his retirement in 2012. Oh, yeah, there it is. So that's just how he is. Incredible that that's not able to be fixed. Yeah, you know? listen, it was bent. So there you go. Fun fact for you. Do you think you would have noticed that? Oh yeah, now we definitely would have. Like, if, I was gonna say, if you didn't have that bit of info, would you have even noticed? But yeah, it's it's really uh. It's really drooping. Meanwhile, but it was something to, to, something to keep an eye on in uh, in future future appearances uh, of SpongeBob. We can always remember that fateful day in in 04. 04. 04. All right, here we go. Saint Augustine, Augustine, Louisiana. Hey, Al's finally there. Yeah, dude. I, I mean, with what 35 minutes left? Before millions on NBC is the bidding cap. I wonder if Al was upset about this. Career. Should have been. Celebrating more than half a we are. Of Wayland, so this is it. By the way, that's probably just how it's going to be up until like the last six, seven years. Is that we just go an hour without Al? Kind of crazy that he's had such a massive impact on our lives and he wasn't even on half the parades. Wasn't the parade last year uh, four hours long? No, nah, that's three. Last year they started at eight. No, they didn't. Are you ready to be wrong? I'm ready to be wrong. I'd love it if I'm wrong because that means it's gonna be four hours this year, which would also, if it's four hours, Brand, we gotta do one hour live, you and I. Like, what are we doing if we don't do one hour live of a four hour parade? I'm sorry. Started at 8.30. Started at 30 extra minutes. Three and a half. Three and a half hours. All right, so we'll do 8.30 to 9 this year, you and I. Yeah. We'll see. What a great moment. We'll see what happens. That was good. Yeah, that was, that was a seven. Eight. Oh, wow. I think I you know. did that to spite me. Yes, I did. Man, lots of monk references, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's a jungle out there. Oh! How about that? That's a 10 for me. You got to. Wonderful. Sean Harrison. Wonderful. Charlie Day. Also Charlie Safari, Day. A wildly popular group who brought their country bluegrass sounds all the way from their native. What we got here? From their self-titled CD, Bearing Straight with the musical salute, I Could Use a Hero. Who is this? They're from Russia. It's nice. I like this. I mean, let's see what the chorus is, but so look at look at Erwin in the background. It's nice. It's a slow song once again, but it's nice. At least it's good. This is Ryan Cabrera, though. This is good. Like you know, <laughs> yeah. we're gonna go slow. Let's I, go good. I do. I like. I dig the song. Ooh. Oh yeah. Bearing straight, Brand. Mm hmm. Oh yeah. I hear that. That's nice. I could use a hero, and there he is. There he is. They said I could use a hero, and they showed him. They that's showed the crocodile that's, hunter. That's a big old eight. That's very nice. Really like that. Really like that. Um, that that band. Let's see if I can Bearing find. straight. Is that who it was? That's what it was called? B-E-R-I-N-G-S-T-R-A-I-T. It's nice. 
made the amazing weevils and oh the weevils they're wobbling the they weevils are wobbling well, today, they're not gonna they're, they're not, not gonna, gonna they're not gonna tumble no, sir, hey. what do you mean? the balloonicals are you a big let's guy? go a 10 10 for the balloonicals these are even more uh Ambitious balloonicles that I feel like we got. Phenomenal, phenomenal use Let's of balloonicle. Right? Don't, don't, act, don't act like you're not with me. I love balloonicles, man. Balloonicles were the greatest thing to be brought to the Macy's Day Thanksgiving Parade since the balloon. Since the balloon itself, they said you can't, you can't reinvent the wheel, but we can reinvent the balloon, and we can do it better. Would you say it's better? I think it's different. <laughs> <laughs> they both have a place. Listen to this is band. This is the NYPD band. This Thanksgiving morning, we pay special tribute to the Statue of Liberty, recently reopened after three years following 9-11. Oh, how about Joe that? Wow, okay. That's, the, see, this is why I love doing this, because these are time capsules of things that I, like, I, that I just don't remember. Who do we got here? The preeminent dramatic soprano of her generation salutes the lady in the harbor with an inspiring song. The lady in the harbor. And Macy's own William Skimmerhorn, free to dream. They said a lot there, and I don't really know most All of I it. All I caught was Skimmerhorn. Yeah. This is Deborah Voigt with the USSBA All Star Color Guard. Did they tell us she's the preeminent voice of our generation? Have you ever heard of her? It's nice, I guess. I li this is hard because it's like I'm really it's happy. It's a big deal. I'm, yeah. so, I'm thrilled that Lady Liberty is once again open for business. Right. Should I not have said it like that? <laughs> You're laughing. Did I, was that, is that a weird way to say it? It might be. If, if, if Lee clips it off, it might not be how you wanted it to sound. But Listen, uh, if I lived my life in fear of what Lee was going to cut, I wouldn't talk. <laughs> Constantly find myself in difficult places. This, 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 is, this is very nice. Yes. She is crushing. She is. I love uh, the the flag action. Yeah, I mean, you we know, gotta go for, 10 for for the moment. She is for, the moment. Yes, she did yeah. totally just flub up that lip sync there, but that's fine. That's fine. It happens to all of us. Yeah. I mean, people don't know we're actually lip syncing this whole thing. We are, thing. and we it's actually, tough. We, we, yeah, we recorded this hours ago. You definitely may have noticed me lip syncing uh, two weeks ago on, <laughs> yeah. on on that specific. <laughs> To dream. It's very nice. Very it's nice. the voice of our generation. <laughs> Your generation, my generation. All of them, really. All of them. In addition to performing at all of the world's great opera houses. Man, even once Al's there, they barely let him talk. With her concert. Deborah this Womps. Terrific. Another part of this great city's history. Members of the New York Police Department's Mountain Did you just say it Womps? The, the fact that Al Roker has so little to do. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, gearing up for the 55th anniversary uh, of the Peanuts Gang and still trying to pump that pigskin after good <laughs> See? Oh. Man, Al never misses. The elusive football furnished by United Features. I love this and balloon. I love, I love this it's balloon. It's a 10. It's, it's a 10. 10 it's a 10 of a balloon, 100%. Um, where do you fall with Charlie Brown in general? Is he a big part of your uh, I love holiday Charlie. watches? I love Charlie Brown. Yeah. I love, love Charlie Brown. Charlie Brown almost crashed into a streetlight, Ryan, as gusty winds pushed him dangerously close to it, but was moved back. For unknown reasons, his football also had lost around 40% of its helium by the time it reached Herald Square. Did you see how man, not full the yeah. balloon looked? Man, Charlie Brown almost hit that street lamp, and he was like, oh, man, <laughs> I, I'm just floating in the air here. Nobody cares. Is uh, Charlie Brown has a Scotia Trump in him. <laughs> oh, oh no! I almost hit it. 
<laughs> oh, it was the best funny. street lamp I've ever seen. Here he comes. This is another one of those long ones. Yeah, one of these. They're, one of giving, these them, they're giving them space. Yeah. <laughs> is this where we're going to see it? Imagine, you know what, you know what? Oh, oh that, 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 oh! That football is struggling. Oh, no. <laughs> that balloon is struggling. Yeah. And I love it. I, That's what I love about the this. parade. That is why we do this. Listen, everything, if everything went perfectly, I don't know if the parade would be as fun. There's something about you never quite know what's going to happen. Things could go wrong. People could slip. Lip syncing could be uh, off for a little bit. Like, that's part of the fun of this being a live event outside. Most of Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders. It is not. Okay. Yeah. Oh, a great remix. Let's go! <laughs> we should have opened with this. I mean, it's a 10 just because we're, we're looking for anything here, you know? This is, this is. Oh, that's the voice of John Madden there in the background. Oh, that's great. What? Ooh, ooh. Oh my gosh, is this the best of all time? <laughs> I think it might be. It's, it's right up there. And I gotta be honest with you, I'm the cheerleading's fine. It's this mix of music we, that's really whoever put the uh, the mix together is the real. Oh my oh, yeah. gosh! Oh yeah! Oh my on, gosh! No. Are you never. kidding me? I never. Oh, just a hit uh, after hit. Sweet cream on a hot fudge Sunday. Oh, you said it. <laughs> Woo! My goodness. Wow. My goodness. That's a ten. You and, didn't uh, think I, they could. I, I do could have done two hours and ten minutes of just that. Swimming in a sea of cheerleaders. Oh wow! Oh wow! So you know what? This is probably uh, NBC's probably just about to get their football package. That's probably you would uh, think so. That's probably the synergy here. I love synergy. Yeah, let's see when Football Night in America started. Hey Joe. Hey Joe. Joe, are you gonna say anything weird on? You gonna say anything weird so, on the mic or? Yeah. 2006. So yeah, they definitely they probably had just acquired the rights to the NFL. Look at that. Oh, we still got bare naked ladies and Fantasia. Yeah. Could you imagine, Brand? Let me just set the scene for you. I think this is a zero percent chance. Could you imagine if Fantasia sings "I Believe" to lead into Santa? That'd be great. Love keeps lifting me high. That'd be that'd be something. I like you singing that. That was really good. Pentatonix should think about it, I believe, for their next Christmas album. Oh, we don't like this. Heads. I don't like this. You don't like the balloon heads? No, they give me the willies. They give you the willies. There's nothing you can do. It is impressive, though, that these guys put these big heads on. Yes. And was a fixture during the World War it II is. years. Today he makes his third freedom. Uncle Sam! An enduring symbol of patriotism. Followed, Yankee Doodle. Followed by. Yankee Doodle. I'm sorry. Yankee Doodle. Uh, Uncle Sam being followed directly by the Monopoly man is is a little too America's on the America, nose, yeah. right? It's a little too <laughs> on the nose. The two great old guy American icons, Uncle That's Sam right. and the Monopoly guy. Ooh. This is the Olympic stadium. Brand, I basically, just so you know, I basically about broke even on the Olympics this year. He didn't lose anything. Right? I, I, no, I, bro I broke even. I broke you even. said about. I didn't know if that meant on. I might have lost like 20 bucks. 
Sue Bird. There they go. American Idol winner. Ah, Sue Bird. Look at that. Wow, Fantasia gets to be with all the uh, gold medal winners. How about that? She won gold uh, with American oh, Idol. Oh, she's though. doing, I believe. When you look out in the distance. It's nice. This is great. It's great. I go to this. I go back to this song all the time. Really? Yeah. When you, ever, when you need a little uh, pick me up, a little, a little extra something. This is ten. We got Sue Bird on a float alone. <laughs> I'm going thing. nine only because I you put that little thing in my my mind about her singing this song leading into Santa. And Could now you I imagine this leading to Santa? It's nice. It's real nice. I agree with that. Oh, Ryan, yes. Wow. Look at you. What this is what, this is what, this, this, listen. This is, should be your alarm every morning, Ryan. Did you ever have, uh, did you ever put uh, uh, songs as your alarm? I don't, I don't use alarms, so no. You've never used alarms? Only sparingly. Sparingly, uh, uh, on very, very specific occasions. I just, I, I told you, I wake up at 4 a.m. every day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I understand. You don't use She's alarms? Singing. She's singing. I know. She was singing. You have, it was, it was Fantasia. Ten. Um, I, no, no, not, on, not on the daily, no. It's never, hi, Luna. Hi, girl. <laughs> there he is. Hi, baby. Oh, hey, Luna. Big fan of the, big fan of the parade. Collected two hundred dollars. Got out of jail free, and that mighty mogul has been buying houses and hotels ever since. The Mr. Yeah, Monopoly work. balloon is bigger than five Brinks trucks, which, by the way, they're his favorite mode of transportation. And this when gonna, it comes to high finance, Mr. Monopoly is happy to share the secret of his success. Never pay more oh, than $200. Like, so is the Monopoly man. He's also adorable. Yeah, we love the Monopoly man. You a big Monopoly guy? Uh, yeah, you, uh, I'm going 10. I'm going 10 for everything. You know what? I got to say, we really... I'm going 10. I'm going 10 for everything. <laughs> Uh, we've really picked up here. We had, we, listen, the, la the, la the final like 45 <laughs> minutes of this parade, I think, are, 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 is, is great. Because we got about what? Approximately 20 minutes left? Yeah. They, you know what? They, they, they booked backwards. They said we got a strong third hour. We're, not, we're, not, we're keeping the audience no matter what, you know? That's like, right. That's exactly what's happening. I like when they give the, the balloons this long little, uh, let's just let. Let it breathe. I like, I like the that. Monopoly man from this angle too. He kind of looks like he's doing like a cool like touchdown pose. I'm really hot. I'm gonna take off this jacket. Okay, I won't. I won't take off the jacket. I'm sorry. No, it was foolish. It was a foolish thing to say to think. No, you can do it. I, don't I can't think that way. I don't like it over. Where's Barney with that cold song when I need him? <laughs> Give me that cold. Hey, Brian, take it off. No. I want you to. No. America sings. Oh, this is us. You almost took off your America Sings jacket right before America Sings. I think mine. Oh, this is good. We need one of those sweatshirts. I was just about to say that, Brano. All right, let me see what I can Oh, look at this. This is like how I dance. This is like the Corey Matthews. Like, yeah. I gotta be honest. I kinda yeah. love this song. Oh, this is great. This might be the best Spirit of America we've had throughout every Macy's and even the Disney. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, that is sax. Hi! Did you wave at them? Hi, they were waving at us. I've got I'm getting one, into this, man. I've got one 
America Sings Red with star that says Macy's on the back. 65 bucks. Man, if we, if that's more than what these two costs combined. I know. Should we, we should be looking for some great Christmas sweatshirts on here, though. Berg, looking yeah. at the uh, looking at the Youngberg's Christmas tree farm in Oregon, great sweatshirt. Welcome back, everybody. Oh, selling, there he is, uh, Bobo. Bob, Bob the Builder. Robert. Here's my question: Do you think he can fix it? Oh yeah, he can. The cat and his loyal co-worker Wendy, furnished by Hit Entertainment. This winter, Bob. Ryan, take the jacket off. I can tell you're struggling. Here's the thing, Ryan. I would rather die. Then take this jacket off before the end of this show. We're, 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 we're almost there. Can they make it? Yes, they can. Oh, that was look cute. at the union. It was have to raise half a million dollars or more to travel all the way to this mega event. Our kids from Las Cruces, New Mexico. Man, their commitment to reminding us that they don't help in any way people get here. They don't they don't give any another sort of Mayfield? What are the odds? Here we go. Here we go. Let's give it to him. But yeah, I, I would agree. I would just leave that part out, Bran. A quick reminder that despite being a billion dollar company, Macy's does not help these nice high schools come and play for free at our parade. But what an opportunity. What an opportunity. You're right. If anybody from Macy's wants to come on and tell us why. <laughs> oh. Ba -da 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 -ba 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 oh, they're on their knees. Wow. wonder why. Why'd they, why'd they go down to their knees like that? Okay, they're back up. <laughs> Oh, that's a nice aerial. Do you think they play another big year for circles, dude? Big year for circles. Very, uh, probably the biggest we've had yet. If Maybe we the see the boxes again, can you imagine? Oh, I, I don't even know what I would do. Losing that was Labamba, correct? That was Labamba. So Labamba, very famously, uh, is featured in the Saved by the Bell, the college year's Thanksgiving episode, which I watch every year right after the parade. Do you You're think cute. that they You're did cute. that intentionally? Do you think they did that intentionally? Of course. Do you like you like to say by the bell Christmas episode? Two oh, yeah, abs yeah, absolutely. I mean, is that a yearly watch for you? I mean, it is, and then I and then I at the by the end of it, I'm like, this is kind of a sad thing. Yeah, but you know, you, you want some, but like you watch Hey Arnold every Christmas. Of course, that's kind of a sad Gosh, thing. I love that special. That special has Merry Christmas Arnold. A ten out a ten out of ten vibe. Yeah. Like the That's Christmas it, vibes in that are uh, like oh, as good as it gets. Yeah. It's, it's right up there. It's underrated. All, All right. right. Now, Brand, as we you focus remember, up on Big Bird right now. as you remember, 2014 you remember? Sesame Street song was absolutely. Here we go. On. I'll shut it. This is the place I know. Here with Elmo's friends all around him. Oh, he's so the cute. That we love so. Oh. I don't know what oh, you want crushing. me to do. Like, this is. It might be the day you're catching me on, but I'm getting a little misty over here. They're just going la la la, and I love it. Okay. Oh, wow. There he is. A song we love to share. Happy are here to join us. Sweet music fills the air. We're going to count. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. Ten, 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 ten. It was beautiful. Man. It was a beautiful moment, beautiful performance. 
And there's more Muppet fun coming up this afternoon. It's a very merry Muppet Christmas movie. There's a 2 p.m. on NBC. Very okay, merry okay, Muppet movie. Check out the not a not not the Muppets best. That was during that era where people are really down on the the, the, the Muppet directed DVDs. What's they up did with Muppet the, Wizard of Oz. What's they up did a bunch with of those. The bird there? Yeah, what's, uh, he's got a uh, he's got bangs. <laughs> he's in his bangs there. <laughs> Oh man, that was a nice moment. That was really sweet. <laughs> All right. Very specific about that. Body. Do you think he got like? You think that's like a balloon malfunction that he's got the bangs rocking? I mean, I can look real quick. I think that might just maybe that was a um, just something that he did sometimes. <laughs> You know, if you took a shower that morning, it took a little while. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. Wow, now they're, they're kind of overusing. Hey, you know what's interesting, Bran? The, be, the believe sign nowhere to be found. Must not have existed. That's a great point. Big Bird with bangs. That's the planter's nutmobile. What's he looking through there? What's he up to? He's, he's looking at the parade route. Did you call him a goober? Pardon me? Look who's hanging out over at the kids candy creation lab furnished by Hershey Foods. Big it's a sweet job, but uh, somebody moment. had to do it. These kids came up with the fun formula. You gotta love a lab with a chocolate square floor surrounded by giant lollipops and licorice sticks. How about those colossal kisses coming down the conveyor those belt? Those colossal Hershey kisses, Bran. Chocolate Town, USA produces 33 million of those candy classics every single day. Wow. That's a lot of foil. Jose Feliciano has been producing sweet sounds for half So I guess it, his hair is like that because the balloon is Feliciano supposed to be showing to Big Bird leaving his happy. nest and flying. So I guess when he flies, his hair... Oh! Feliz Navidad! Wow, look at him. Feliz Navidad. Now we're doing it. Clearly singing. <laughs> Cut away in case he forgets to go to the chorus. All right, we're good. Ah, oh, ah, oh. love it, Brand. Sorry if that yard work is coming through. That's that okay. Great. Listen, a lot of tens on the back half of this uh, parade. We're as down as we were early on, and I think rightfully so. People can tell us oh, that we're yeah. wrong, but I think that that first half of this parade was about as bad as it gets as far as the parades go. They, oh, awful. For as bad as it's been, is as good as it's going. For as bad, it's good now. It's really good now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, a tale of two parades, am I right? Oh, my gosh, yeah. And that's a tale as old as time. And parading down Broadway, everybody's favorite fat Can you Garfield believe we got we got uh, Feliz Navidad followed by Garfield? And that's America. Back to back. That's America. Some Spanish, an Italian cat who loves lasagna. Well, no, Garfield himself isn't Italian. I actually don't know, and I apologize for if I spoke out of You can like lasagna without being Italian, I brand. spoke out of school there. I don't know why I always thought he was Italian. <laughs> Is. This is a perfectly fine balloon. Nothing Our crazy to me, though. Italian. Okay, I'll Google that and I'll get back to you. Uh oh, here you go. Garfield the cat is born in the kitchen of an Italian restaurant. Okay, that doesn't actually answer the question. <laughs> um. Also, I have a fun fact real quick about that Garfield balloon. Um, Garfield suffered damage to his left paw after being oh, no. snagged by a tree. I believe this he recovers. This is another rough year. Much like 94. You it's would windy. Think it was such I think it was a windy. It was a, oh, my gosh. Look at that. And a cherry the size of a bowling ball. Taking the retro ride, five cool and crazy cats from Canada. Who we got here? Bare Naked Ladies? From their album, Bare Naked for the Holidays. <laughs> Bare Naked for the Holidays? Uh, oh, they're doing Jingle Bells. All right, so we're getting ready for... Is this a slowed down version of Jingle Bells? This horse open sleigh Over the fields we go <laughs> So serious. <laughs> How serious can we? Do, have you, have you heard in the least bit? Okay, there we go. Have you heard the bare naked ladies uh, Christmas album? 
I have not. Should I? Uh, people are really high on it. I actually was just talking to my buddy Dan about this yesterday. I'm not as high on uh, BNL as uh, a lot of people are. I don't really dig his voice. It kind of isn't as. Okay, there it is. I don't like this. Ha, ha, I mean, ha, I like Jingle ha. Bells, but like, I don't like this. In the Bare Naked stuff. Ladies are five for fighting, Brand. You only can only you can only have one. Oh, I think there's some people that are going to get pretty mad at you guys. You can leave those comments. Uh, I like this. I'd go five for fighting over Bare Naked Ladies. I'm 23 for a moment. They they must do they must have some Christmas stuff five for fighting. Let's see. Oh, I would love that. Listen, I like Five for Fighting. Don't hear it. I don't know how we're. Why are we comparing these two bands? They're not nothing. I feel alike. like I feel like I just feel like they're both of the same era. Okay. He's wearing a cape. Oh, fighting, I like ooh. that. I'm going ten. I listen. Am I overusing? Ten? Am I overusing ten? Maybe. So sue me. Yeah, you're. I, you're you are. You are besmirching ten. No, this was a great performance, Ryan. You're like you're wrong about this. Recording legend Peter Cetera, you're wrong about this. I don't this. think I am. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go five for five for fighting for that. That's crazy that you gave that performance a five. People are gonna be so. They're gonna. Leave, all of the comments are gonna be about bare naked ladies, and how you're wrong about it. And you're gonna have Every to live with that. Get. You're gonna have to live with that. There he is again. I still can't believe you almost took your jacket off. Uh, okay, don't do, do you do this? You do this thing where you know you're in the wrong, and then you throw me back under the bus. I didn't take it off. Thank you very much. Here's Shandy Finnessy. Oh, Shandy. Who's a little mouse? Who doesn't remember the year of the Shandy? <laughs> Were you just talking about that with Dan yesterday too? Yeah. Shandy's year. Shandy's year is a huge year. All right, Brand. I mean. Is Santa going to be as pivotal to any parade ever as this one? Now, this is like huge. in terms of where we're going to feel about this in the in our overall ranking. It's huge. It's huge, Ryan. And again, if you remember, this is huge because, and part of the reason we did this is to compare what what you know how '94 and 2014 were so different. It was in no way more clear than when it comes to Santa Claus. The, the Santa Claus in 2014 blew the Santa Claus from 94 out of the water. I mean, I'm interested to see if the, the Santa from 04 is closer to 94 or to 14. Hopefully, or hopefully, better. Or better. Interesting that Clifford gets such a uh, primetime spot here pre-Mr. Uh, C. Clifford like was snagged in the midst by of the holiday balloons. Clifford was snagged by that same tree at Garfield, but it didn't uh, didn't damage him. Listen, I'm all about the environment, but maybe we just get rid of this tree. Oh. You want to get rid of a, a tree so that helium balloons can uh, once a year can have a cleaner can... route? Yeah, I do. Helium's fine, right? Damage. This is a cool float. This is nice. Probably the best float we've had all day. Yeah. It's a 10 float. Oh my gosh. Look at us. The the back half of this parade has been nonstop bangers. This is this is classic brand though though. You are willing yourself to enjoy this. <laughs> like I disagree. That shirt is oh, you need that, amazing. Man. What is this? We haven't gotten a lower third yet. I was listening to Katie. We gotta start listening to Katie. This is Peter Katera with something that Santa Claus left behind. Naturally. I kind of love this. It was certainly a big surprise. You know what I hate though? What's that? Um, same old Lang Syne. Really? Don't you tell me, Ryan. Don't you uh, tell have me. You heard the, have you heard the Backstreet Boys version? I don't, I, I refuse. I am not a Christmas song. No, I, I mean, it's a song that takes place during Christmas. Not a Christmas song. It's a, it's a more Christmas of a Christmas song than Hallelujah. I'll grant you that, but basically I mean, everything close. is. It's close. This guy's voice reminds me of that, by the way. That's why I brought that up. 
Uh, I, I get that. I would listen to the Backstreet Boys uh, version of Same Old Anxiety. I'll listen to it. I'll listen to it after we're done here, and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll report back. But I don't like it. The song, that is. It's just not a Christmas song. NBC's All right, we're coming down the home stretch, Rye. It did fly. One, once it happened, it flew. Once we got there, once we started moving. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I mean... I only got eight, eight, uh, seven minutes left in this parade. Man, look at... I mean, look at how fun these... Uh, I like, was just about to say, they're seemingly having a good old time. There's not enough clown coverage. <laughs> there's not enough clown coverage. I would say there was basically none other than uh, a brief... You saw them in the background with Al That's what, hours listen, ago. Once Willard left, I think Willard was the one that was pushing for heavy clown coverage. And once yeah. he left, they gave up on that. And I, I'd like to bring back clown coverage. I think that it's a, it's a vital part of the parade. I think as we when we dive back to the 90s, we'll probably see a lot of that. Prima Ballerina. I like the trees above Macy's. I think that's nice. Yeah. I mean, listen, a lot of this has been pleasant. You have to admit, Ryan, that the back half of this parade has been... I wouldn't say the back half, Bran. I would say the last 40 minutes or so. I mean, we've been doing this for two hours and ten minutes. The nutcracker kind of makes me uncomfortable. I'm going six. Yeah, I think we've talked about this before. I'm going to give a similar score. Oh, we're getting a performance. I'm so used to reading a synopsis to this song, I almost uh, felt like I was not doing my job. So the 2004 parade starts off with Al Roker and the scissors. Look at those scissors. They're so small. You don't see Al Roker again for a while. What's he doing? What's going on? Who can say? Wish I could. There's a bunch of Broadway shows. We haven't heard of them. Ryan asks how long they've been on. Some long, some not so long. Uh, at least this is Christmas-themed, Bran, in the sense that we are... I feel as though they are, there's been a, a, how about this, a tie that has binded, tie that has binded? Nope. A, a, a central theme through all three <laughs> parades is that, you know, there's no, uh, there's no uh, half step. And in the last 10, 15 minutes, we're, they're getting you ready for Santa. 100%. 100%. It's no longer Thanksgiving. It's Christmas. It's almost too bright. Yeah. Listen, man. I want a little overcast 60 on degrees. Sunny. Don't know what to do with that. That was nice. Oh, that there's that uh, bastard. Th that stupid <laughs> frog. <laughs> oh, shout out. Shout out to our guy, Golden Warrior. Look at this. Boo! Dumb frog. Boo! I hope you die. Right. Talking about Kermit, everybody. The people holding Kermit, they, they're fine. Paul, the Irish boy, responded and just said, what did Kermit do to you? <laughs> uh, I want to, like, does, does the Golden Warrior go on every parade with um, Kermit on it and just talk about Dun, dun, Santa's moments away. Here we go. This is the Lassiter. Lassiter High School marching band. Yeah, it is. The Trojan brand. Band. Don't talk about any of the other versions of the Lassiter High School. This is Trojan. Going eight. It's nice. I'll go. I'll go eight as well. It's so bright. The sun yeah, is I, I, it's, shining. It, it just. It just kind of happened too. I guess yeah. that's just kind of how the sun works. But. <laughs> 
Here's more on the sun with Ryan. <laughs> or I, actually, let's kick it to Al. Yeah, st stuff can happen and the sun can show up. Oh, uh, they're clearing a path, Bran. I feel like that path can only be for one man. Look at that. Oh, here we go. Going full for I'm going full for Santa. I'm nervous. Nice balloon, nice elf balloons. What's happening right now? Here we go. Thanks, Katie. Confetti and just but just for the crowd. Okay, it's hard to tell in 4-3. It's, it's tough to tell in 2-4. Yeah. He's definitely more jovial than 94. Oh, yeah, I already has 94 beat. What better holiday forecast can we ask for? And guiding Santa Slay, Dasher, and Dancer, and the whole Dasha, Dancer, Pranta, Vix, and Kana, Cuba, Donna Blitzen. I could do this all day. I'm having a great time. Bye. In a child's book oh, there we go. That's a good I, I shot. I remember this guy. I remember this guy. Hi, Santa. You remember this guy, Santa? Yeah, of course you do. Oh, that's good. Do the nose. Yeah. Do the nose. Uh, no nose action yet. Ten, obviously. Sure, I mean, that was even the worst Santa's going to get a 10. For the holiday season. I, I, that might have been, it's hard to tell. I oh, think there's Mr. Glass. Well, guys, time to tear ourselves away from the styrofoam coffee cups, the half-eaten donuts, and go home and baste the turkey. Great idea, Chef. I don't think so. <laughs> Let's obviously have a <laughs> wonderful time in this year's parade. Yeah, Ma 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 that looked like it made Matt sad. Matt yeah. That looked like it really <laughs> bummed him out. You don't think I can baste the turkey. good material. Warm and very happy All right, let me just, let's just see real quick. Happy if, uh, holidays. Hey, they didn't even give Al a closing line. All right, here we go. Do the nose. Man, I, I got to say. All right. I think 24, uh, well, I think 2014 is, uh, is the one. I think 2014 is the one. I, the, I will just say this. I think uh, personally, I got 2014 ahead of this one. And I probably... I probably I have, have 94 ahead of, ahead of this one as well. But I, this and I, one, I'm not joking. I have the Disney uh, 4th of July ahead of this, too. No, no, no. Dude, no. the high points of the Disney 4th of July spectacular, Yankee Doodle, that national anthem with 15 verses. <laughs> I, I understand what you're saying. I, I don't know if I can get there. Right. Well, I don't know if uh, I can uh, get listen, there. Uh, Fantasia was great. Sesame Street is all... Here's what we've learned in terms of comparing and contrasting. Sesame Street is always, always going to slap. It always hits. Always going to slap. Always hits. Um, um, but but yeah, through the decades, the formats really do change. They sure do. They sure do. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do next. Uh, maybe some people in the comments can let us know, like, is there one that really comes to mind? Should we go uh, Should we go newer? Should we go older? Should we go even older than 94? I don't know. Let us know in the comments, and uh, we'll get to something in a couple weeks uh, here on Let's Pot a Parade. Thanks to the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade fan wiki for all the thank information. You. They're phenomenal. And uh, Ryan, thank you. Thanks for joining. Right, Brant, thank you. And uh, what do we say? Keep parade. What, what's our thing? We got keep a thing. Par keep parading. Keep, keep parading. Bye bye. Bye bye.